Hello, hello. Yes! It's Christmas. I'm so excited. Hello. You know what? Happy Christmas, Amelia, my darling. Happy Christmas, And do you know who else I'm going to say happy Christmas to? The amazing, the wonderful Mrs. Deborah Balford. Happy Christmas. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Now, Debbie, this is what Debbie looks like when she's ill, everybody. <laughs> I wish I looked like this when I was ill. Hello? Hello? Debbie is poorly. I'm okay. I'm, not, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm better than I was last week, I can assure you. Can I just say hello to everybody who was on Poly Days with me at the Polymer Clay weekend? Poly Days? Yes. Like and holidays? I, yes, and I <laughs> coughed my way through the weekend. And thank you to Irene and Chrissy for looking after me. Love you lot. God bless you, Debbie Balford. She's like the tiny Tim of Christmas time today. <laughs> now, we have got, of course, lots of Christmas deals for you today. But more importantly, Debbie Balford, can you tell me what is in the pipeline today? Something exciting. Oh, I wonder, could it be a new DVD? <laughs> <laughs> could be. Yes, it blinking well could. And can I just say, it's one fabulous DVD indeed. Oh, thank you very much. I love the extruder. It's wonderful. <laughs> I just love it. And you know what? If you don't even know what an extruder is, stay with me. If you do and you know you want the DVD, stay with me. We know what happens. Things just go woof. To, and you know, and because it's Christmas, everybody's tuning in. Good morning to my crew. Suddenly, Adam Tex Waring has come and intruded. Again, you're trying to come, but you're trying to claw your way back in, aren't you, Tex? trying to claw his way back in there's a there's some kind of an emergency we've got Tom we've got Scott we have got Clary Wary and Amelia everybody's here so come and uh, get get interactive with us today 60777 JM studio followed by your message is the way to text us in you can indeed click and like our Facebook page or you can give us a tweet I do like a tweet now and then it's at jewelry underscore maker. We, Hannah Oxford's been tweeting from India this morning, if you've been having a look. Now, Scott, without further ado, let's kick off with our early bird. Now, I've got so much. Oh, he's got, he's having graphical problems. It's all going off this morning. It's live. But the early bird, oh yeah, look, the early bird's got his Christmas hat on. Amelia, can you sing me a little Christmas carol while the uh, graphics have gone down, please? Do you actually know any of the words? No. No, not hats, not hats. I'm scared of hats. I'm It's a bit silly. It's like puppets. Shall we see what's coming up? I'm going to show you. Well, obviously, we've got the busts. We've got... We've got Handy Andy. But we have got some of the most beautiful fluorite ever. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Come on, Amelia. Come on, darling. Put that elf down. Now, have a look at this. Gorgeous fluorite. I've also got for you, and I think these go beautifully. Marquise, yes, please. In the amethyst, I've got some wonderful smoky quartz for you. Woohoo! Look at these. I do like a big round, big, gorgeous fuchsia agate. And of course, of course, of course, of course, I've got the extruder DVD. Now, this is very long awaited. If you love polymer clay, or if you're thinking about getting involved with polymer clay, you need your extruder DVD. Have we got the extruder, Scott? Have we? Yes, of course we've got the extruder, my darlings. Now, we've got, where's those brand new cutters of mine? Here they are. No, they're not. Where are they? What do we, oh yeah, yeah. Christmas cutters. Oh, can I take these home, please? I feel a I feel a bake off coming on. Oh no, I don't. I feel a polymer clay Christmas tree decoration coming on. Now, are our graphics working? Can we kick off the show? Yes, we can. Thank you. It's time to get our busts out. Have a look at these. I know it's a bit <laughs> early. It is a bit early for that, isn't it? Now. Have a look at what I got for you. Is it the weekend? I believe it is. Welcome to the weekend. Let's give you a weekend dazzling deal. Now these busts are essential, not just if you're photographing your jewelry, but let's face it, if you are doing jewelry parties, 
if you are, have a stand, have a fair, or, or, um, or anything like that booked where you're selling your jewellery, you need to display it in a certain way. Do you know what? Even if it's just for the Wall of Fame purposes, you need to be able to display your jewellery. Uh, raise it up. Raise it up because if, you, if you're if you're going to a jewellery fair and everybody's jewellery is just there on a table, you tend to just saunter on, don't you? But if your eyes are drawn to something, you think, oh my gosh, I love that. You stop. Now these have got the earring holes at the top. Debbie, talk to me about how important it is for you to display because I know that it's not just um, it's not just selling your jewellery actually, is it? Because you do do tu um, tutorials, you have yes. workshops and things like that. Is it important to show everybody the jewellery yeah, when they come think, to a workshop? I think the reason that the busts are really important is that when you wear jewellery, obviously you're not, a, you're not a flat person. We've all got curves, so you have to show it on something that's going to look like a poddy. Does that make Absolutely sense? Absolutely, it does. So you yeah. need to see so how the jewellery is going to hang. Mm. Uh, and that sometimes people think, oh, that's not for me, or yes, that's perfect, because they can see exactly how long the tassel is or how big a pendant may be on the neckline. They need to see what they're buying. It's important. Now, these can be very expensive, can't they, Debbie? If you're they going can. out oh, there, gosh, they can. They can. If you want a great deal, well, you know that when we, when we give you an early bird. We always give you the very, 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 very best price. That's the point of it being an early bird. You're getting an unexpected deal. Now, we've only got 100 of these left, I'm just hearing in my ear, because so many of you are buzzing around the website this morning. If you want to get involved on the website, it's all the w's.jewelrymaker.com, or there's a free phone number if you're dialing from your UK landline. Just in front of you there, 0800-644-655. You've got a 30-day money-back guarantee with absolutely everything that you buy from us. So how much are these each if you buy them out there in those big trade shops? You tell me about eight or nine pounds each, at least. How about all of them, all three, for just seven pounds and 95 pence. An incredible deal for you this morning as our early bird special. Now my desk is actually rammed full of incredible deals this morning. <laughs> Look at all of this, seven pounds and 95 pence. It is crammed full of Christmas. It's cranberried full of Christmas. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I'm super excited for Christmas. Are you? Let us know how you're spending your Christmas this year. 60777 uh, GM Studio. Followed by your message. Keep interactive. Now, I've got to let you know that there are queues building on the phone lines for these. We have uh, only a small number of these left, I'm just hearing. We've only got 40 left. Unbelievable. You've, this is going to sell out in the live show, then, it, it seems, in, in, in the next couple of minutes. By, uh, Do you know what I would do? very quickly before Christmas I know I need these well I buy three it's not gonna break the bank is it 795 and isn't it payday for most people today is it oh, I love that it's not payday for us though is it no no we've got to wait anyway who do you know what payday payday schmayday it all goes when it comes in doesn't it to some of us especially if you've got children now I've actually bought lots of Christmas presents already. Me, me, the most unorganised person in the world. That, that's, that um, place with the orange bags, the supermarket, had a toy sale yesterday, so there I went. Yeah, you know, the supermarket with the orange bags. Come on, Scott. Oh, you can tell Scott still lives with his mum. Now, oh, sorry, darling, are you the green stripey ones? Right, now. Debbie's challenge is what I'm going to give to you now. Debbie, do you get all of these? Yep. You are spoilt this morning, yep. lady. These are my favourites. Yeah, do you know what? I love these. I absolutely love these boxes because you have got... Look, I love the pots that this comes in. And actually, Debbie, these pots are perfect for somebody like you. After the, after the uh, gemstones, after the hematite's been used up or stored somewhere else, tell me really why you, I, kn I know that you, you'd use these. What would you use them for? I use them for the glitters. Yeah. And the foils and things like that. And also my findings, uh, all, for all sorts of things. And they're good to put um, things like the liquid clay in if you, don't, if you can't get it yeah. out of the bottle, because it's very difficult. Just put it in there as your little, little pot and keep it in your bag. They're ever so useful really useful anybody crafty likes a pot oh yes we need them we little do. bits that we oh, slip yes. off our silver that we don't want to throw oh, yes. away because it's real silver little pots like this are an absolute 
godsend, aren't they? Now, I'm going to give you all the hematite inside here. Well, do you remember, Claire, we once, um, we once counted all of these. I can't remember how much it was. It was a ridiculous, wasn't it, amount in here. Look. Oh, I love those new shapes that we're getting. Oh, Amelia, that's not it. Oh, we thought Amelia got excited and then she thought, no, no, actually no, got excited for nothing. But she thought she'd counted them, she hadn't. Now I'm also gonna give you, you're gonna make something super bling today. Absolutely. I'm very excited. This is going to look very good. I, I mean, this hematite is must have for your New Year's Eve parties. And for the Christmas season, what about Debbie Balford? Yes. A BDB ball ball. If you want me to, I will for take the Christmas requests. tree. Yes. What do you think? Because look how sparkly they are. Absolutely, insanely sparkly. Now, that box in itself, as you know, is 1995. And then you've got these marquees. I love them. I've got some earrings made out of these. Love them. Look at all of that colour. Just fabulous. I love it. Uh, incorporate these with the economy clay, Debbie. Is that something I could do? Yes, you can do, actually. That would look lovely for Christmas, yes. Definitely. Put them with other gemstones. Put them with blacks. Put them with sparkles. Oh, yeah. Whatever you do, get on the phone line for Debbie's challenge today. DXG. C 76 1995 just for the box individually or you can have the whole lot for 22 pounds and 95 pence today now i think when we do bundles like this i would take advantage of it if you shop for these individually on the website of course you'll be paying ever such a lot more which is still good value by the way comparatively 34.95 is the exact price you would be paying indeed let's go on over to lady db and see how she is today i'll try not to uh, i'll try not to um breathe in oh there's a christmas tree hello there you are <laughs> we got christmas trees everywhere it's we like have. going into narnia it's coming it through to, it is. to debbie bolford there's mr tumness look <laughs> with his fawny feet Hello. <laughs> Talking about you, Tom. With your little hooves. Now, <laughs> Debbie, have yes, you Ray. got... It's very cold over here. Do you know that? Good. There's a draught. I don't mind. I like it. That's all right with you, That's is it? Fine You're not me. too... You don't need some slippers or anything? No, 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 no. no. I wish I didn't know you were ill, because I made actual chicken soup yesterday, because both of my children oh, aren't I've been very well either. I've been chicken soup for the last few days, actually. I feel like I should have bought you in some. I made a great big... Three chickens I used. Anyway, we'll talk about that because it's breakfast time, isn't it? Now, Debbie Belford. Yes. Sir. I'm going to give you some lush things today. I love these. I love these. Look how many you've got. Have you, have you seen them? Just, Look at these little rondelles. Love them. I saw them upstairs in the office when mm. I first had them in. And then the, it was shut very quickly when I walked in. I think they thought, hello, she's going to get hands on those. I think oh, they're they gorgeous. They to us. I no. Know, but they know us. information. They know us. They do. We're nosy, aren't we? Now, I love them. I love them. 100 have already gone. The deal is incredible at 22 uh, Inspire me, Deborah, if I've just well, got these on the phone. People who get these will probably think, oh gosh, Christmas. But you don't have to use them for Christmas. You have to use them all in one thing. I'd like too blingy, wouldn't it, to have for all in one no, thing? No, no such thing. I would, buy, bring it. I would buy these and think, right, I'm set up for the year. I've got everything I need now to put all the sparkle into my jewellery until next Christmas probably um, because you only need one or two things don't you a sparkle yeah. a front of a beautiful Catches black onyx eyes. bracelet with one one bar mm. and a mystic hemo but absolutely superb so don't think you have to make something that is so sparkly you can just use these sparingly and I would put these in my stash and know this is an absolute treat to be able to go to my stash and think I don't have to buy anything silver or gold or what have you mm -hmm. I've got, got all, all the sparkle here that I need it's perfect and you've got the green iridescence and the Absolutely. pinks and everything go with the amethyst because you pick up the purples yeah. peridots pick up the greens they'll sparkle against whatever gemstones you put next to them I think they're such such a good idea I'd say they're a must-have and mm. also what I love is you get the display case it's got a little window in it so if you put yeah. some velvet inside yes. you, and you sell your jewellery on it actually looks good in those little boxes it does. doesn't it? Yeah a piece of velvet or you can put some little you know um, um, shredded tissue paper or something mm -hmm. inside and put a nice necklace on the top or <gasps> yes, really I like pretty, that idea. It is, really you know, pretty. I am, I'm going to be honest with you I am stuck I'm thinking New Year's Eve I'm thinking Christmas but you you just saying that to me Actually, yeah, you're right. It will go with everything. I'm just seeing you've got a polymer clay glitter. Yes. Now, wouldn't these look really cool on the bottom? 
because yeah. really, look at how wonderful the you can make mini ones of those as little earrings as well aren't so. these fantastic now some of this hematite in, in something like that would look awesome wouldn't it absolutely it fantastic it I'd say these are must have I, I mean I've got lots of hematite that I have uh, Acquired, really? let's say. Can't understand. How. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, if you put double-sided sticky tape on your hands on the way out and just dip it in yeah, the bead ick. box and then mm. walk out, like the sticky bandits on Home Alone. I don't know. Scott just went. I can't believe that's actually something you probably would do as well. And you thought about I it. I don't know how yeah. you actually come into your brain. But there you go. Um, but even just one of these on the bottom of an earring, it's the only earrings you could make. I've got the little them. drop ones that you've got here. Yeah. Uh, Sheena oh, made me some earrings the other day at Chandelier. Just three of these took, took was it she? No, it was Mark, it was Mark. Just, um, oh gosh, loved it, loved them. I, I've worn them loads. And actually my friend Alice, who now lives with us, long story. Right. Okay. She keeps stealing all my jewellery. Really? Yeah. Strange. I know. <laughs> she keeps going, oh, I like. And she's just straight. And then the other day I came into the kitchen, I said, oh, <coughs> excuse me. you got my earrings on. And it was these ones. She, I, I know, I like the colours. It, you know, it, they, it's those kind of, oh, and actually my daughter likes them as well. They're that kind of, you get they drawn to them. They make you feel happy, don't they? Mm. Jolly. We've only got Jolly 30 ones. of these left, Scott's just saying, so you've wow. got to be dead quick. Fabulous. In grabbing yours. I'm going to take these away because you've okay, got your own, I've got there. My own there. So you can have some more if you want, but you, I, you won't need I it because you've got absolutely stacks. Need, no. Right, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Off okay. I, I, I feel like I should go easy on you today. I feel thank like you. I want to cuddle you and put you oh, in thank you. into bed and just put the duvet right up and thank put a nice movie much. on. Maybe the Golden nice. Girls or something That'd like be that. Lovely, you know? thank you. Okay. I'll do that later. Right, make, make sure that's what your husband does. Yeah, he does. Because you should all sit in bed and watch things like Frasier and the Golden Girls and yeah. not very well. Come on. <laughs> Let's go over. Let's go over <coughs> and give you, here I am, something new. Which one, sh which something new should we do? Let's do this one. Can we do this one? Is that all right? Let's give you Handy Andy or the Helping Hands. Now, Handy Andy is fantastic for a million and one different reasons. If you are, let's say, using your bead loom and you want to do a pattern and you want to get really down and into the gemstones and you want to really follow a line, but my goodness me, working with seedy beads, oh gosh, you really need a good set of eyes, don't you? If you, if you haven't, then use this. Also, if you are adding just little tiny embellishments, if you're doing soutache and you want to look at the stitches, you know, anything like that, Handy Andy is great for. Now, macrame, it's great for because you've got the little nippy bits on the end, sewing gemstones in. Debbie, what do you use your Handy Andy for in particular? Chain mail. Of um, course it is, yes. Some of the ladies who come to my workshops, if they've forgotten their glasses, they use them and, and they really, really enjoy using them because it gives you both your hands free. Yeah. To, to, to hold the, the, the rings and you can get a really close, closed ring then you can see exactly what you're doing. Well better than if you're wearing your glasses yeah. almost because yeah. you'd have to have it right up to your face to get yeah. that kind of magnification wouldn't you? So you've got, do we know um, what times the magnification is on Handy <coughs> Andy? It's a lot, is it, is it like 10, 10 or 20 times magnification? I really don't know. We'll find out for you. So you've got the clips and it's nice and clamped down. If you are working intricately with wire and you want to add detail or you want to get the perfect basket weave but you can't quite see to do so, then the Handy Andy is there for you. Now I'm not just giving you Handy Andy, I'm also going to give you the velvety board with a cushion. Now this is perfect if you're doing beading, it's perfect if you're doing macrame with a bulldog clip at the top and it fits on your, and it's all soft and silky and lovely. And, and you know what, it's things like this you need because your beads won't just go But also I'm going to give to you your necklace board. Now I've got loads of these. I can't even tell you how many. You can put lots of different projects on them. The, the, the reason why they are an essential to you as a jewellery maker is because you've got your measurements here. So you know how many centimetres, you know how many inches. You've got the three different lengths here of the necklaces. You've got your compartments to put your findings and your beads. And when the phone goes, don't worry, everything's not gonna cascade, everything. you could just leave it safely and come back to, to whatever project you are working on. Now I'm also going to give you the Comfort Grip flat nose pliers, which are essential for opening and closing jump rings when making necklaces and bracelets. Uh, there's also, there's a million and one reasons why you need these for wire work. They are just an essential tool. I'm also going to give you your 
I'm going to give you, am I getting two lots of flat nose pliers? So your reg, okay, so I'm getting your, um, your sparkly flat nose pliers. So you've got one comfort grip and one sparkly. It might be that you're on the go. It might be that you want to have one flat nose pliers for home and the other for when you're doing your jewelry parties. So one may be called flat nose and one may be called chain nosed. They're both called flat nose on here. Right, the ones with the very long, thinner, thinner nose to them. That's these ones. Those. They're probably classed as chain nose pliers. So they're better for chain? For better for chain, chain mail. mail. Because they're finer, you can get into the chain mail. You can get in I between see. the links when you've made your bracelet and you want to go over it and just, just, just close them, uh, your links up a little bit more. They're easier to get into the links to you to move. Aha. Aha. I've only done a little bit of chain mail, the simple bit where I do one ring, two rings, yes. one ring, two rings. That's okay. And also for wire, of course, because you get smaller coils because they're finer. Yeah, you, yeah, okay, you can get a tighter coil, yeah. can't you? So you get all of this. The handy and the price tag you're going to get, by the way, everybody, is insane. £10.95 for all of this. The value here that we're seeing is... Hang on a minute. I've been in that big craft store and I've seen tools for about £8.95 each. This is a brilliant deal. Do you, know why the, do you know why this is great? You know your best friend that you want to get into jewellery making so that she can come around and you can actually do jewellery making together and you can ask her her opinion about things and she knows what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying, yeah? Get them, get them involved. And you know what? If that's what you're doing and it is for a brand new jewelry maker, tell the tell the the tell the um, customer service center, and they will give you the DVD for free, and the tu and, and they'll give you the tutorial booklet for ten ninety five. You are getting absolutely remarkable value. Oh, 4655 is the number to be dialing. Don't forget you got your soft cushiony board. Do you use the soft cushiony board a lot? I do because they stop things rolling off. Yes, very good. They're just comfy when you're working on your lap as well, aren't they? They feel nice. They're nice and soft. 10 95 Don't forget, with everything that you buy from us here at Jewelry Maker, you will receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're buying it today for the first time, you're thinking, I'm going to get into this Jewelry Making Malarca. And when you see all the deals, you're popping them in your baskets. Oh, and by the way, if you are shopping online and you are putting things in baskets, make sure you check them out. Otherwise, you're going to miss out. Our early bird... Is the early bird sold out now, Scotty Wattie? Uh, there's a couple left. Just a few left. Just a few left, says Scott. What are you bringing to me? Yeah. How many, how many jobs are you doing at once? Uh, several. Good boy, good boy. A man that can multitask. Who knew? Am I getting this little glass pot or is that just for... We're not getting... That's, that's funny. I know I've got some lovely things in here though. Let me show you. Let's bring to you our first kit of the day. Christmas in the Bahamas, this is called. Who named this kit? No idea. Christmas in the Bahamas? Oh, hang on a minute. Who has Christmas in the Bahamas, let's think? Not me. It'll be Linda or Sheila. Christmas in the Bahamas. Yes, please. In the Bahamas. More like Christmas in your pyjamas for me. Have a look. Bahamas, can you imagine? So look at all of this. You have got Christmas in the Bahamas. CDB. <laughs> Men on the moon. It's madness. <laughs> You've also got some CDBs. This is a good one for Sutash, you know. I love these colours. Claire, you'll like this one. Look at these CD beads. They're, 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 quite, um, they're quite rock chick, actually. Feeling a bit too cool for my own good here. They're quite, they're cool, aren't they? Therefore, I think you can make some really pretty pieces for someone Amelia's age. How old are you, Amelia? Oh, 29. I'm old. She says I'm 29. Yes. Yeah, you're probably a bit old to be a rock chick now. It's oh, like the 25-year-olds, isn't it? You should see my guitar hero. What? <laughs> 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 You've also... I'm de yeah. Have a look at this. I think rock chicks play their own guitars. They're not actually on Guitar Hero. <laughs> Yeah, you've ruined it for me. Let's have a look. 
that deep, deep, mm, plummy pink. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Actually, that's yummy looking. I like that. Cranberries, that's what they are. Really, really juicy. Would you like Christmas in the Bahamas, Deborah Balford? It would be quite nice, wouldn't it, actually? It would no. Be, actually, no. Change of mind. No. Christmas, I think, we should always be at home. I agree with you. Yeah, actually. I did Christmas once with a boyfriend I once had. It was the worst Christmas I've ever had. I no. rang my mum and said, I'm coming home. I had to drive from Cornwall. Oh, my goodness me. Awful. Awful. What was I thinking? It's family time. Now, you're also going <gasps> to... Hang on a minute. Stop everything. Precious findings. Precious findings. Nine carat gold <coughs> on sterling silver. Now... Have a look. I, was it Becky named the kit Christmas in the Bahamas? Now have a look. Because you've also got, are these sterling silver, yeah? Sterling silver with nine carat gold. Now there's a lot of richness in this kit. You've also got all your beading thread. All your beading materials are there as well. Really pretty colors. YUG C37 is your item code. Are you ready for a fantastic price? If this is the first ever purchase that you've made with us here at Jewelry Maker, shop with confidence knowing that you've got that 30 day money back guarantee. When we give you a kit, we give you everything. You should be paying 34 pounds and 95 pence for this kit, but today we're gonna give you all of this. For £27.95, brand new today. Don't forget, you've got solid sterling silver and nine carat gold findings. 30 carats of bright multicolored agate faster drowns are four mil. Your 85 carats of pink cow, 77 mil on an 18 centimeter strand. Light pink quartzite, two mil. I love those little CD beads. You've got your gold on sterling silver wheel spacers. They're five by three and you've got five of those. 50 meters of beading thread, 80 meters of mono filament and over six meters of clear elastic. Christmas in the Bahamas, why not? Let's all have Christmas in the Bahamas. Just for a day and then come back. I like snow though at Christmas. After Christmas. <coughs> After Christmas. Yeah, maybe the day. No, I, I love winter. I love it. Now, let's go over and see Debbie Bolford. Will you be celebrating Christmas at home, Debbie Bolford? I always am at home, yes. Will you be cooking? Yes, I always cooking. I can't wait. I want to get deer for the garden. And my, real my, deer? Yeah, real ones. But my partner's been away and I, I nearly, nearly had. Uh -oh. uh, alpacas yesterday and I rang him and I went on a scale of one to ten how angry would you be if you came home and there were alpacas in the garden and he said let's talk about something else <laughs> so no I'm not gonna like yeah but they're so cute and do you know they hum when they're upset that's why I wanted them you that's want to I, upset them no no that's why I wanted them. Upset I them. them I want them I feel like they're, they're emotional creatures oh. I would like to see them mm. I don't I don't what know, there's say? something wrong with me. What, what can you say? say? Listen, at least you don't have to live with me. That's very true, actually. I wouldn't mind. You, you would like fun. to live with me? Yeah, it would. Uh, Claire just said you're the only person in the world that I could even think would randomly have alpacas. Yes. Now, I absolutely love this bracelet. You've made you. real, real Christmas gifts here with this one, well, haven't you? Well, it it's a very special kit, very exclusive kit. And because all the three strands are quite small, obviously, I've um, I've put in I've put things in that are really really gem heavy, and because they're tiny, they probably don't look gem heavy. But the bracelet took a long time to do, and I just wanted to show sea beads can be made not not just to, to put in between things, but you can make patterns with them and do all sorts of things with them. I think it's really really pretty. I love this. I love how you've, you've very neatly squidged your crimp beads and they are a complete and utter part of the, the design. They're real gold and silver. Yeah, I love this. Yeah. This is where Handy Andy comes in as yes, well. You absolutely. can really get in there. Yeah, I had to use a Handy mm. Andy at home to do this because I found it at night, which is when I normally do my jewellery because I'm dashing around during the day, I needed that extra help and it stops you getting a headache and your vision, yeah. you know, isn't very good at night. So. 
I, 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 honestly, even I love after that. driving, I think that. Look, look. It's really I think pretty, it's isn't it? It is absolutely really beautiful. Delicate. I'm just going to show you how Debbie's clasped this at the back as well, because that's interesting too. You've used head pins and you've wrapped the wrap, wrap. Yes, I love it. That's a real feature. This is very. Do you know, I'm just going to let you all know it's gone limited this kit. We've only got 10 of these left, so you've got Lots to be very quick. Because these, these are really special gems. And look at these earrings. And again, you're hugging the gemstones with those CDBs. They're like, they remind me of. Um, you know, what is it? what's that thing called that the Queen holds on to? Oh, yes, I know what you mean. It's not a scepter? Scepter, scepter. No. scepter. No, I don't know what it is, daughter. but the Queen holds it. I don't know, whatever it. it is, it looks like that. Yeah, did you, yeah. I don't know why, but that's the first thing I that, that I, I went, oh, the Queen has that. <laughs> Have a look. Pretty. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. And then this beautiful, ne now I'm thinking Indian summer yes. when I look at this. I know we're going to have a hurricane on Monday, aren't we? Have you heard that? Are we? Yes, it was on the, all over the news on the way to work. Oh my goodness, I'm coming here on Monday. Oh my goodness. So me. I hear all the news yeah. on my way in. We're having a hurricane on Monday, oh, apparently. lovely. Mm. I'm supposed to be doing a masterclass on Monday, that's great. Anyway. Don't walk in with a big, uh, you get swept away. Oh, oh, mind you, I'm a bit scared. I'm be supposed fine. to be in on be Monday fine. as well. I've got all that be fine. Job. Will we be all right? You ought to sleep in Mon uh, Sunday night. Have a picnic. So, anyway, getting back to this. That, that is. <laughs> this reminds me of a necklace I made when I very first joined the show and I made it with tourmaline and I love it. And I've still got pictures of it at home because I love it. What happened to with that the, necklace? Oh, my goodness knows. I don't know. But I just love the fact there's two little flowers. And they just look like juicy berries. I think they're gorgeous. Yes, they do. I do like a juicy Absolutely berry. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Very nice indeed. Oh. And the spacers are stunning. They are gorgeous. Those wheels. Oh, yeah. There's so much silver. They're very weighty. They are weighty, actually. So I've got one inside the bottom flower. Then I've got a couple more going up the necklace. And that's what I think they're quite Indian looking. Yes, they are actually. It's the detail. A lot of, a lot of Indian jewellery has that kind of detail. Yeah. Lots of gold and fuchsia together. I've been asked to do an Indian wedding actually, haven't I? <gasps> So have bit, you? Yeah, have you ever been to an Indian wedding? They're yeah. amazing! I'm a bit nervous <gasps> about that. Anyway, How moving on. How wonderful! Please on. let us see the jewellery. Yes. Are you doing the bride? I don't know. I've got to go on a meeting with them. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Um, I shall show oh, you how, really to do, how to do the, the bottom drop on the flower with the, the centre, which is, I know you've done this before, but to show you how to get the centre, okay, is that right? Absolutely, I was just okay. going to say what a lovely brooch that would make, what a lovely it would, ring actually, that would make. Or little earrings, mm. or anything, really pretty. So everybody knows that when to make a flower, usually Mother Nature has um, petals in odds, five, mm. sevens and what have you. Yeah which doesn't always work for jewellery making, but I'm going to use five here anyway. There's five. I'm literally just tie it into a knot, all right? So that's the first part. With, um, uh, with beading thread? Beading thread or monofilament. I'm using beading thread because you can see it. Would you prefer to use monofilament if you're um, at home? Probably, okay. yes, probably. And that's what you've used in here, or have you used beading uh, thread? I think actually I've used beading thread so you okay. can see it. Right, okay, fab. Okay, so that's the first part. So I'm gonna put that down. So Second that was easy. Part, how easy is that? Then you thread on, one of the stunning spacer beads, beautiful spacer beads, and the tiny little beads fit in the middle. Can you see that? They oh, actually do you know, fit. That, that looks like a little together. pink sapphire, doesn't it? It does, like a little cake. Really pretty. Oh yeah. So then you feed back through the thread that you just put through your little pink bead, feed back through into the centre. You'll see it will sit right in a minute, I promise you. And it push it back through to the front of your design. So you've gone through the spacer bead, through the little seed bead, and then back through the spacer bead. And to secure it, you need to then thread through one of the bottom beads and give it a really good pull, and back up to the top where your knot is. Okay, I'm gonna give that a real good pull so it sits right. You need to pull that up from the top, sit, and then pull and it will just pop into the middle, like so. Oops, okay. And then tie that into a knot again and cut. So then you've got that little, little design in the middle. And then how on earth did you make that into your pendant drop? Rather than put um, a, a jump ring round the beading thread, all I've done is fed through a head pin so the little ball then becomes part of the design. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yes, Put it over I didn't the top of the pin, like so. If I hold this in my fingers, <gasps> and bend. 
and then that can be either had an extra uh, bead on the top or you can put a loop on the top and once all those threads are cut you've then got your your pendant design if you look at that in the I in the absolutely yes I love pink? it and Debbie I love green. this I just tried it on and I thought Did oh you? my gosh it looks lovely can Thank you me. see you see this bit here all right Sorry, I think my hair's rubbing on my microphone then. Okay. Sorry, Claire. So, can I try this it's on? Just, it's just a really pretty way. Shall I do it for you? Yeah, of I love using it. I think it might be spaces. just long with my microphone, but I just want to show. Because actually, I think on I it looks amazing. I just hold it for you. I just hold oh, no, it so you can see. Don't you think that's okay. lush on? I love jewellery. Do you know, I love jewellery. Do you love it? We love jewellery, don't we? You know when you make it? Okay. But you know when you make it? There you go. You forget how much you love actually wearing it because you're yes. so into making it. Do you get that? Absolutely. And keep trying it on as well because when you're making jewellery, it has to sit right. Mm. So keep trying it on and make sure it's the right level for your dress and what have you. Because this, for an evening dress, if you had a low cut neck, yeah. it would sit beautifully. It would. I'm thinking with, um, with a lovely blue top that's got a V, obviously that's in my wardrobe right now. Oh, that really? would look gorgeous. Would it? Yeah. That, isn't that strange? Like a proper nice, like, striking. Really strange that is just unbelievable. <laughs> Do you know what? It's time to go and look at your wonderful designs <laughs> in the Wall of Fame. <laughs> It's like winter wonderland in here. I was tucked. like, oh, I've got tucked. I feel like, feel like a deer. Now, <laughs> I, look at this look. Like beautiful. Oh, isn't that pretty? Absolutely beautiful. And it's handwritten. It's from Liz. Oh. I've got, do you want to have three in our No, one? no, no. Are you no, sure? My voice might give out. Now, yeah, cool. have a look. Dragonfly. Oh, with the beady bead. With the yes, he was your that you had. Hi, all at JM, says Liz. Um, here is my entry for the Wall of Fame this week. Sadly, the computer is still at the computer hospital. I couldn't resist <laughs> giving Mark's Dragonfly a try. I love macrame, and although I'm a beginner, I love the ideas. I'd... You're a beginner. You're wonderful. Have a look at that Dragonfly. It's fantastic. I love the ideas on Jewelry Maker. My fairy is less impressive, but my enthusiasm is hot. I will work on this one. All components are from JM. Best wishes. Love the shows from Liz in Ipswich. Now, what's wrong with the fairy? It's love. It's so cute. That looks so sweet in a little girl's bedroom. It would. Or even a Christmas decoration on a tree. Really nice. I'd love it. Have a, have a little look at the fairy. Yes, it could go at the top of the tree. Could. Could indeed. I like that idea. Oh, and there'd be lovely a beaded fairy with a little beaded skirt on it. Oh. I can't wait to decorate my Christmas tree. I'm ready to put it up next week. Are you? I, I would if I could. I've got to get my new one because our old one fell to pieces. Oh, um, this is number real one. Oh, no, no. We had to have got animals. Uh, we have got a dog, yeah, but. Yeah, you can't yeah, with dogs because no. they get in the paws, mm, don't yes. they? Uh, 476, this is. This oh, is from um, Trudy. Yes, it's lovely, isn't it? From Peterborough. She um, lives in Oundle, near where my sister lives. I tell Trudy oh, that right? every Oundle, time. Oh, what a funny. Yeah. Oh, oh you in Oundle? Oundle. I've heard that before. Yeah, yeah. Dear jewellery maker, it encloses my this week's entry for the Wall of Fame. It's the first attempt at a hair comb. I've been making jewellery for a while now, but just necklaces, bracelets and earrings, but never hair pieces. As my sister's getting married next year, I had to practice, and this is the first result. This is for her bridesmaid, and oh. she's so happy with it. I'm doing headbands to match at the moment and hope for a win. Many thanks from Trudy. Trudy, that is beautiful. I love that. I it's love the... Gorgeous. Isn't it so nice actually making... Is it a sister's wedding, yeah. did you say? It's how, so how personal. How personal is sense that? sense of achievement mm. when you've done it. Well done. Oh, and you do it with love, don't you? you My do. sister's having a baby and I can't... <laughs> I just... When I'm, when I'm buying the stuff, I'm just so excited. It's so lovely, you know, and you do, I think if it was my sister's wedding, I'd be the same. Yeah. It's so lovely, isn't it? I can't wait it to is. steal that, baby. Love Number that. 477. Oh. Love that. I lo you love smoky cots. I will too. give it back, obviously, child. <laughs> or not. Well, it is my niece or nephew. I've decided it's a girl. Yeah, um, right. Fine. <laughs> said to my sister, I've decided it's a girl. But then she said she'd been craving junk, so I said, actually, it's probably a boy. Mm. Anyway. 
Yeah, I crave junk with my boy and good stuff with my. What about you? You've had two boys. I've got two boys and both completely different. So that's oh, oh, that blows that one out of water then, doesn't Sorry. it? Anyway, Linda says hi all. Here's this week's Wall of Fame entry: smoky quartz, citrine chips, and gold-plated spacer beads in a three-strand weave, all from jewellery maker. Recovering from a <gasps> from an operation. Oh, and her spine. Oh my gosh, Linda, sending you lots and lots and lots and lots of love. Um, so good excuse to sit and watch all day. Roll on, or um, roll on all day uh, live. Laugh out loud. Need a win as the funds have run out. Do you know what? First of November, we're running um, all day live. Twelve hours, eh? I know. Nine till night. Love it. Yeah, I'm in in the morning. Hey, who's? Hey, are we going to have breaks? We don't want breaks. What do we want breaks for? No, there's no point. Let's just keep going. There'll be a lot of shuffling in the background, people coming in and out. There'll be a lot of cake. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. Because you can't go a whole 12 hours that oh, cake. No, no, can't, can't. It be should be them. illegal, no, in fact. No, absolutely. This is number 478. Isn't this beautiful? Transnight, isn't it? The club oh, blue. It's gorgeous. From Bernadette striking. in Glasgow. Um, hi, everyone on the Wall of Fame. Loved your shows this week, Vicky. It's great. She has so much information for the viewers. Even telling you not to put your jewellery on until you put perfume on it can damage the stones. It's great advice. Now down to my wall of fame entry. This is tanzanite chips and drops made into flowers with rainbow moonstone in the centre with gold findings and earrings to match. This is about my hundredth time entering the... Um, <gasps> so, I've, sorry, it's my hundredth time entering, so I've got to get lucky one day. Oh, Good luck to everyone who enters. Oh, Bernadette, your luck will come up soon, Hundredth I hope. Hundredth time! I wish we could fix it, but we can't. No. Oh. Well, I don't, well, you couldn't But it's lovely to see your designs. Pick. Isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely I gorgeous. Love I love it. Bernadette, I'm crossing everything for you 100th time. We should give, can't you just give Bernadette a prize for <laughs> entering 100 times, please? A bead scoop or something. Yeah, Scott says if he's got proof, he'll send you a bead scoop. <laughs> oh. Well, I've said it now, Scott, so you are doing it. Now, 100 times? She deserves a bead scoop. Now, 479. Scott just said, you don't know you've what kind of a can, a can of worms, worms you've yeah. just opened. Yeah, exactly the same. With the, oh, Every dear. day only, I like to open at least one or two cans of worms. You do? Yeah, you've got that's, to. That's what Jenny does? Yeah, I like a, I like yeah. a worm or two. Love that. This Isn't that beautiful? Is got, and look, matching pen. That, this doesn't happen often, does it? The smallest to the larger. Isn't it fantastic? I can see a cat's face. Look yes. at these. Can you? Did yes, you I see can it? Actually, see the ears. Yeah. Isn't it funny? Uh, Joanna spelt the Jewish way, which I love, from London, and she's sending Zen hugs, which I also loves. Love. Can you see a cat's face in here? Like a Siamese cat. It's almost like a fox, isn't it? Please, if you please. There, look. Oh no, stop! Actually, I don't, yeah, that face has just reminded me of um, <coughs> um, Bright Eyes. Oh. That film that scares me. Um, now. <laughs> I love it. Now, actually, Joanna, spelt the Jewish way, started her message with something quite fitting. Hello, my lovely nutcases. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, here's my entry for the wall. I thought I'd try Laura Binding's last pendant design for a recent masterclass with my own twist. It's made with a large yellow and green banded agate pendant and smaller green banded agate coins on the earrings with articulated spirals featuring teeny peridot rounds. I love peridot. All from JM. I made it as a commission um, for a present of a friend of a friend, if that makes sense. It does. And I'm really glad it turned out so well. I have a cheeky request. If you decide to show this, can it be on Friday the 25th or next Monday, Tuesday? I'll be away. Well, do you know There you what? go. Today's the day. Look at me. Amelia is like, she did that for you. Well done. Thank you, Amelia. Amelia's celebrating her own brilliance there. <laughs> can you come and do that dance where we can see it? Celebrate your own brilliance. Careful, you've got scissors in your hand. Careful. It's like I think she's my daughter. You've got scissors in your hand. But please be careful with those scissors in your oh, hand. Dear. It's not, I can see you, I can see you falling over. Could you do, could you just hold them properly by the... Oh, of course. I can't stand. Yes, thank you. That's better. Thank you. That's Sorry, better. I can't be responsible for this. Um, now here's hoping I win this week. There's something I need. Um, good mojo luck to everyone making their creations, whether they sent them in or not. Love and Zen hugs from Joanna. Joanna, you're fantastic. That's beautiful. We're in London tomorrow, Joanna. I might bump into you because it's a small you town. Never know. I don't think so. Probably see you and go. Oh, well, one. my mum and my daughter are going to see Warhorse. Oh, really? I know, I'm so jealous because I'm not coming. 
How rude is that? How rude is that? Last few of the bus are in stock and the information for you is on the bottom of your screen. They're only $7.95 for three, get two. Oh, if you can, because literally we're in um, we're in single figures. If you love the Marquis Amethyst that I showed to you at the very beginning of the show, you're in luck, because it's coming up after this. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the on air now button on the front page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, you simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. If for any reason you're not satisfied, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. We all know you need the right tools for the job, so here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new jewellery maker hobby. If you have a question or query for jewellery maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewellerymaker.com. Well, we've got a gorgeous strand for you. Uh, Debbie and I, uh, during the break, just discussing the outrage that is margarine. I'm outraged by margarine. I don't know if anyone's with me. Butter, butter, spread it on your toast. Margarine, get it out. Get it out of your fridge right now. Now, anyway, they're saying it's worse for you than butter. Do you know that? Yeah. They said yesterday. Get it, chuck it out. It's full of chemicals, it's horrible stuff. Now, unless you like it, and then it's lovely. <laughs> But it won't, it, it has no place in my fridge. Lee tried that low cholesterol stuff. And I was like, get that out of my fridge. I'm a country girl, we like butter. Now, have a look at what I got me you. Yeah, real cream. None of this UHD, get it out of my fridge. I don't want this, I don't want this fake cream. Anyway, anyway, my dears and my darlings. And because I don't like fake things, I like real amethyst. I like real gemstones. In fact, this is my butter to margarine. Why would I take glass gemstones that are purple when I can have something as gorgeous as real amethyst in my possession? Have a little look at what I got for you. And then marquees. When was the last time we saw marquees? Do you know what? These are going to look so gorgeous with a bit of suede. And I've got some suede cord coming up, some purple suede cord and a feather on an earring. How beautiful would that be? Very um, native Indian American. Absolutely. Very nice. I, I love that look. You know, the headdresses and things, how that oh, sort of. Yeah. And dream catchers and things like that. These would look wonderful hanging from dream catchers. If that's something you're doing for Christmas gifts, it's a lovely idea. Have you ever made a gemstone dream catcher, Debbie? Uh, no, the only thing I've, I've made that's similar to it is just the tree of, you know, the tree, the of, tree life. of life. Just that's the, the tree of life. Tree of life's amazing. Now, what about, this is my idea for Christmas presents, birthstone dream catchers. Yeah. I like that idea. I love things like dream catchers, though, because I'm a big old hippie. Have a look. <laughs> I was raised by a pack of wolves, <coughs> no, no, by a pack of hippies. Have a look at that marquee's shape and just think the simplest drop earring would be beautiful, wouldn't it? The simplest 
cascading of these on a waterfall cascade in a pair of earrings. Do you know what this would look lovely on? You know the heart chain that was in the last kit? The gold heart chain with these all coming off them in a bracelet would look absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I think this is going to go so well with the fluorite drops that we've got coming up later on. These fluorites are gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Now, we were just saying, I just said, Scott, that's lovely, that fluorite. It is fluorite, isn't it? Not, uh, and not um, topaz. And he went, no, it is fluorite. That's why, I, that's why I went quiet, I was just making sure. Now, these are going to go really well with Debbie's challenge too. We're going to give you this strand for under £10. If you've already got an open basket, come shopping with us today. We're going to give you this strand for under £10. We have got lots of Christmassy treats in for you today at £7.95. Genuine amethyst. February's birth gemstone. A gemstone that's mentioned in the Bible, that's what it is, because the Bible's quite old. The Bible was written quite a long time ago. <laughs> so, I mean, it was like, what, 1922, something like that? <laughs> I'm joking. The Bible, of course, as we know, is an ancient book. We, I was just having a kid with you. Um, as we know, is an ancient book, and it was mentioned in that. So, so how old is the actual Bible? Do you know? Like, am no. I stupid for not knowing that? No. If Debbie Belford doesn't know, then no. I'm not as stupid as I thought I was. Seven pounds, and do you know how old the Bible is, Scott? Do you know, what are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying? He said in my ear, what are you saying? Uh, do you know how old the Bible is dying? Look it up, please. Seven pounds and 95 pence. Very, a, a very historic gemstone. It was in the, it was in the, um, it was one of the stones in the plate of Aaron, is it? Is that what it's called? Seven pounds and I wish I'd concentrated at Sunday school. My gran used to make me go. Seven pounds and 95 pence for all of these. And marquees are some of my favorite shapes. We don't have a lot of marquees, Debbie, do we? Where, and they're top no. drilled. Where would these find their way in your designs? I would use those with wire work. In fact, I've been looking at, is there a necklace on the top shelf there on the left? Like little Yes, buds. it was done by Sue, isn't it lovely? Isn't it gorgeous? Mm. Something like that, to use them as little buds of flowers would look absolutely stunning on a vine. Look really, really pretty, I oh, think. Oh, do you know, you're so right. What kind of yeah. wire would you use, silver? Probably rose gold, I think. Rose gold or silver. Or gold, yes. Yeah, really pretty. And what other gemstone would you tie? Would you tie some of these in with it, maybe? I don't know. Um, probably more. Yeah, you could do, but I think it will probably go for more of the smoky quartz or mm. a pyrite or something old you gold. You love your smoky quartz, don't you? I, I just do think too. it goes with everything. I really do. Well, Deb is very elegant, so I'm going to copy her. You know, sometimes I question my own elegance, as you can probably sympathise with. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence. You can think, yeah, I see why. Now, really, three quarters of our entire stock has sold out already. So you've got to be quick. These the limited stock. BCG. I'm, I don't know why I sounded so surprised. We're very, 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 very busy this morning. It's Friday. It's the weekend. Woohoo, Amelia! Whee! So what are you up to this weekend? Let us know. Have you got a craft fair tomorrow? Let us know. We'll let everybody else know where it is so perhaps they can come along. Extruder DVD is coming up soon. And it is definitely... Oh, can I show them? Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling, -ling, ding-a-ling. <laughs> Once Halloween's over, is that it? Can I then get even more? Can I decorate the house? I'm sure you could. After bonfire night. No, I, it's got to be December because otherwise I actually count it as bad luck, you see, and I'm highly superstitious. Max put his Christmas stocking on, his, uh, on, the, on the knob of his wardrobe yesterday, and I was like, take it down! It's bad luck! And he went, no! <laughs> I'm not going to get any presents. And I was like, it's fine. Santa was not watching. Now, I'm going to give you all this lovely ribbon. Now, ribbon. Can I just see you working with... Oh, you're working with cord. Ribbon is perfect for tying up your Christmas presents, but it's also wonderful. You know those little wire work birdies we've all been making from Alison's uh, masterclass and DVD. Was it, it was DVD, wasn't it? You could tie them to your tree with a ribbon in perfect little neat bows. Take me a while to get... I, I, Linda taught me how to do a neat bow. 
So I'm, I can now actually tie bows that are neat. I'm very neat and tidy these days, Debbie. You'll be surprised and shocked. Really? I promise you, yesterday I spent the whole day from 8.30 to 11.30 last night cleaning. Ironing. Really? You should have seen the iron. iron I know I don't iron. I did. I did. It's because it's because Lee's coming home and I want him to come home to a, a, a house that goes ping. So you've lived in a hovel for about no, a week. No, I haven't. But and I then did. it's suddenly become really, really nice. No, I'm normal <laughs> tidy, but he is OCD. Really? Literally. I haven't lived in a hole for a week. I just no. I have been. <laughs> it's, it's, listen, when you've got two kids, pigs, horses, oh, chickens, I I, hey, I'm co permanently covered in straw. <laughs> no, my kids aren't pigs and horses. No. Well, <coughs> they're not very well mine. Anyway, you don't want to know that. Have a look at. I'm going to take it out of the packages. Is that all right? Get me out of this plastic. Use them muscles. Have a look at all this lovely coloured elastic. Can I plait elastic, Debbie? What's right? Can I plait it? Yes, you can. Oh, absolutely. I think quite cute. You know, when your kids, your kids probably are, uh, with your kids being older, you probably don't get this anymore, but I'm sure you did when they're little. I've promised so and so a Christmas present. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, thanks for telling me. Yeah. And so and so, and so and so. Uh, you could actually just make little friendship stretchy bracelets out of yes, these. Yes, you could. Plat them, because these are such cool colours, real low cost. Absolutely. And give everybody something cute, yeah. you know? Little girls just love jewellery, don't they? They do. They do indeed. Yep. It does last longer than chocolate, Claire, and... I, d I, d I genuinely actually think kids have too much, so much chocolate at Christmas that you don't want to give them. That's not what you want to give them really all the time, isn't it? Selection boxes and stuff like that. They never stop. Look at all this ribbon. So this could be for Kumahimo. This could be... Can you knit with ribbon? You can. Well, I'm getting them out, Amelia. You don't mind, darling, do you? She's in a good mood, is our Amelia today. She's always in a good mood. Oh, Amelia, there's just 300 metres here. I mean, oh, 300 metres. Oh, you've got that lovely Christmas tree green and that beautiful berry. Look, look, that is what I would pack it. Everything's going traditional. Do you know what I would do? I just want to make bows out of these and put them on the Christmas tree. How lovely would that be? Just out of my ribbon. I gave quite a few of those to um, uh, a school, a special school near me. And they just, they just pin them around the walls and put lots of bows and then just put their Christmas cards across them. You know, like string. Oh my gosh, so they've that got was lots so of much colours. prettier than and actual string. Yeah, really pretty. Why They're didn't really I nice. ever? I'm going to do that. Maybe really that's brilliant. Pretty. So tie your Christmas cards up with them. Yeah, just, just in the. St that's right, yes. and just just put them on. I'm going to do it. No. I'm going to do it. I know exactly. Look, you've got the real you've that lovely gold as well. Look, <gasps> look here it is. Here it is. There you go. There's that Christmas trio. And then I've got everything else. How gorgeous are those three together? They're perfect, aren't they? Don't forget, you've got all of that. You've got the, oh, you've got that lovely peach, that one I love. 10 metres of each colour. Good grief. So I've got 30 colours. That's right with my maths, isn't it? Whoops, a daisy. Oh my gosh. This is going to be literally the craziest deal ever. You've got loads. Oh, stop, stop. That's not everything I've got, Scott. I've got all that. I've got, I've got my real leather suede. It's not suede, it's real leather suede. Oh my gosh, and it's in all those. I love this. I love this suede, I do. Oh, I do. I said that a bit brumai. Look at all of this. Oh, I do. It's because, Scott, you say I do after everything. Yeah. I like that, I do. Oh, look, all of it. Oh, Kaz, you've joined us at the right time. Good morning, my darling. I went, oh to my a, gosh. I went to a Christmas fair last year, and as you walked in the door, they'd actually got, I think they were glass beads, but they'd put ribbons at the door. So you can imagine these old curtains, there used <gasps> to be lots of beads, and yes, they put yes. all the ribbons at the door Ooh. with a little glass bead at the bottom. You had to walk through the ribbon to the centre. How Santa. pretty is that? You could do those all the ribbons, could you? I'm going to make a grotto, I think, at my house. Who wants to come and be Santa Claus? Amelia, you want to be, you can be Mother Claus. I'm very traditional. Santa is definitely a man. 
12.95. I'm so sorry, I didn't even know you put the price in. I'm so sorry, Claire did tell me a million times. 12 pounds and 95 pence. Claire, sometimes you should get a fly swat and hit me with it. Jewelry maker does not recommend that you do that at home, unless the person who needs swatting has given you permission. 12 95 <laughs> is your price tag. Unbelievable limited stock. This is a really wonderful deal. All of your packaging, Debbie, it's so important to package your, your pieces nicely as well, isn't it? Oh, it is because people, people do notice when they come past the store. I mean, you could even use the gift bags. You know our lovely gift bags, the black gift bags and purple gift yeah. bags? And fill them with ribbon and then use that as a bracelet stand. <gasps> you actually put your bracelet around it. Yes. Do you know what I mean? And yes, then when I they do, buy it, you can put it in the bag. Oh, I like that. Look at all this. Cut. I've got to show you everything you've got. And if you look at my desk now, I literally, it looks <coughs> like it's Ribbon Village. It's Christmassy, isn't it? Look at all these lovely colours. Oh, I love it. You know, like paper chain. Can I make it? I could do loads, you could do absolutely loads with ribbons. You, you could knot it. You know that thing that you do where you go over, over, yes. over, over, what's that called? And it goes all like zigzaggery. Do you know what I mean? I'll do it for you now, if you, in case yes. you don't know what I'm talking about. In case you're like, what is what, Jenny Cleary? So I do need plaques, ends. you mean, sort of, no. It's not a plaque, it's only two, and it goes. It's not a paper chain, it's where you go over, hold over hold you know you can do it like that and then when you open it up it's all like concertinaed do you know what I mean do you know what you I don't mean? know what it's called no. but that would look quite cute on a bracelet actually it would. and it would look quite cute around your Christmas tree yeah. if you did the Christmas colors that would look cute wouldn't it you could actually do a plait of the Christmas colors as well now, one last look, because these are about to sell out. £12.95 for all of these. If you're crafty in any way, you'll need this, because actually in paper craft, ribbon looks nice going down the... What's the fold of the card? Is it just called the fold of the card? On the outside, ribbon looks nice on yeah, Christmas lovely. cards outside of that, doesn't it? So if you're crafty and you're doing paper craft, this is a great deal for you as well. Uh, also, marks? if you're doing cupcakes, you yeah. can package them all, all prettily, yeah. can't you? You can put a book bead marks. on either, set, either end and use them as a bookmark. How gorgeous. There's a bake-off going on in my kitchen today because the kids are ill and Alice is, uh, said, it's all right, I'll do baking with them. Now, as you just heard, I spent all day cleaning yesterday. I, I don't even want to go back in the house, do I? Now, let us know. When you're away, what do your children do? I remember when my mum used to go away, we used to, my brother and I used to cook things because we could. No, we didn't follow a recipe either. We used to bung it in. Now, all of this. Amelia, I am so sorry. I now need you to help me. Come and open your arms. <coughs> Last 20. Good idea. There's so much of it. We do need a box. Thank you. By the way, we're only going to charge you one PMP. Are you going to give it to the warehouse like this? I don't think you'll be very popular, Amelia. Do you want to write Jenny was here on the box? And then they'll go, oh, we understand. I think they would. These are all the back. Look how much you get. Don't forget the coloured elastic and, and the suede as well. How much is suede a metre if you're buying it elsewhere? You've got all those lovely colours. How many metres of suede have I got? You've got 100 metres. No, 10 metres, sorry. Not very good at maths, am I? I take the wish to the cow that gave it to you as well. A metre each. A metre a meter each colour and you've got ten colours. Goodness gracious. Amelia, could you do me a favour? Yeah. Could you pull a cracker with yeah, me? Oh, hang on a minute. No, we can't Bigger because they've got polymer clay on them. Clay on I don't, they're special. Aww. Look at these. If you... Do you know what, though? If you, did you do these, Debbie Bolford, or was it Hannah? I didn't. No, a lovely lady, Fiona, did them for me, Fiona <gasps> Potter. Now, if anyone pulled those on Christmas Day, I'd get very cross with them. That I say no they're just for decoration <laughs> do not pull those do you ever get that don't eat those chocolates they're for display <laughs> not really that's code for because I'm going to stuff my face with them later <laughs> now sugared almonds they're for display aren't they they are they're for display Amelia likes to eat them though I like to eat them but they hurt your teeth I'd like to say good morning to Kaz who's just joined us good morning Kaz morning. she's on camera how are you I'm very well done. Good, you're sprightly this morning. I hear on Facebook that you're looking for a man with a beard and a suit. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Was it Robin Thicke you were thinking about? Who was it? No, I like him. Sounds like Who's Santa to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't have Santa because you can't have Santa because he's taken. And he's very busy. Yeah. Who was it you were yeah. thinking of? 
A beard? No. Was it not someone famous? Oh, no. Oh, oh. No, it's not anyone who works here. It's somebody that works here. A beard and a suit. Who wears a beard? It's Drew! He's taken. You can't have him. Who wears a beard? Who wears a beard? Who wears a suit here with a beard? It's no one who works here, Benny. But Kaz, you don't have a life outside work. <laughs> this is number 17, Scotty McBotty. Yes, all my lovely pinks. So you got the right box, Jenny. Oh, he's changing me. He said, sorry, you got the wrong box. Well, that's all right. I'm just a monkey. You are the organ grinder. Now, <laughs> number 13, darling. All right, then. Scott just said to me in my ear, this is going to, can I tell them? This is going to 7.95. Because <laughs> that's Scott's voice. Debbie, look at all this texture for 7.95. Not that one strand. <laughs> Two strands. Oh, wow. That's three beautiful. strands. That is gorgeous. And it is gorgeous. Oh, Big I love that. Wait. Do you love this one? I do, look. but the one next door... The shine on that is incredible. This one? Yeah. It's the, and they're prism shapes, you know. Oh, that's why. £7.95 pence to your price tag. I would get in this one very fast. Beautiful dove greys as well with pinks. Are oh, so hot right now. Very wintry, actually, grey and pink together. And it's a nice way of sort of taking pink into the winter, isn't it, to put it with grey. And then you've got the awesome autumnal strand there as well with the Botswana long nuggets. Nuggets? Nuggets. Nuggets. <laughs> nuggets. <clears throat> 16 by 7 to 23 by 6 those are your grey agate nuggets are 9 by 8 to 20 by 9 and your future crazy agate plain rounds are 8 mil YDGC76 is your item code this is called tribal textures over 50 of these have already gone in the couple of seconds minutes that I've uh, been giving you these so I would act fast if you want an absolute treat for your stash at a very low price tag are you creating jewelry that you're selling on this is a great deal I think and I do you know what I just think this could be a, an amazing opportunity for a profit making situation here and if you are doing Christmas gifts for the teacher etc oh, you yes. know great for that absolutely perfect for that 7.95 my son had a party for girls the other day and he said to me can you make them some bracelets they've asked you to make them some bracelets so I made them about 10 bracelets each Max likes to spoil girls I like this yeah. I like this. I'm like, yes, that is right. That is right. But he doesn't. He doesn't want a girlfriend. He just likes them. He likes having them. Like everyone keeps telling me they want to be my girlfriend. I'm like, yeah, but they can't, Max. They can't have you. He's like, just. He's just going around buying them gifts at the moment. He's not an early player. He is. A, <laughs> he's, it's because he's got these big blue eyes, I think, and this blonde hair, and they they tend to like him. And he's quite good at football. So he gets these little girls like, ooh, Max. And his sister finds it absolutely hilarious. 7.95, very, very low in stock in this one. So please be quick. Oh, 800, 6, 4, 6, 5. oh it's half term, by the way, everybody. You know what? You need to get these deals because you can make with the kids at home. Because they love it. They love making jewellery, don't they? And then you can still do it. You know, because otherwise you feel guilty, don't you? You do. Now. How many have we got left? Hardly any left. You've got to check out baskets. We're approaching single figures of this bundle. So if you don't want to miss out, you must check out your basket if you're shopping with us online. Don't forget your 30-day money-back guarantee. And it is a free phone number if you are in. Do you know what? This is the lowest price. Do you think this is going to be the lowest price tag of the day? What does it make them each? Two pound something each. Two pound fifty each? No, to be more than that. Two pounds. 70 each. I made that up, so I'm not very good at maths. I, I did took it, it. Is it right? Come on, Scott. 65. I wasn't that far off, actually, was I? That's not like me. What was I doing the other day? Some crazy way of dividing. It was called the bus stop method. I hated it. Don't even get me. I panic. I panicked. I had to ring my sister and ask her to help me with the homework. Jenny Argyle was not available that time. It was for the small boy rather than the big girl this time. Anyway, I must say, 
I've got to thank Jenny Argyle because she did. Uh, she she helped me help <coughs> me do her homework the other day. <laughs> By the power of Facebook, she is our suit lady, but she's also a maths teacher. Yes, for girl for a girls' school. So I was like, yes, I know who's a genius. Now, let's do let's do something autumnal. I can't wait to do. I've got a very Christmassy glitter bundle to give to you. Amelia covered me in glitter earlier. Am I still glittery? You are. It never comes off, does it? I was saying it's like popcorn. You find it everywhere when you've eaten it. Did you ever do that? Do you ever do that though? You come home, take your clothes off, popcorn. How? <laughs> I love popcorn. It is true though, isn't it girls? You know? How does it get there? I don't know. Have a look. <laughs> But who does know? It's because you're so busy trying to cram it in your mouth as quickly as you can because the person next to you is trying to share it with you. There's nothing worse than sharing popcorn, is there? Don't you hate it when they're like, oh, we'll share a big one? No, we won't. Get your blinking own. The only thing I like to do when I'm sat watching a film is eat popcorn. I don't want your hands in my popcorn. Anyway. <laughs> oh, you are funny. Tom's girlfriend said, very strangely, uh, Tom's just said to me, my director, my girlfriend eats popcorn in the middle of the night. When I wake up sometimes, there's popcorn in the bed. <laughs> really? No, that's probably just where she's got into bed when you've been for a movie. Girls literally, I promise you, you take off your clothes, it happens, doesn't it, Debbie? Popcorn everywhere. Same with chainmail, actually. If there's a jump ring chain in mail, the, the jump rings go, yeah. you get undressed, and you think, where did that come from? Yes! It is true. <laughs> the things us women have to go through. I know. You know? Although, Scott, you're known to wear a bra now and then, so you could probably sympathise. Now, it is true. Now, look at what you've got. Rustic feel. I do love... I love the word rustic. I like everything rustic stands for. I like the fact I like rustic bread. I like going to a rustic kind of pub and having that big fire and a nice <coughs> ploughman's lunch. I love all the autumn tones. I love big woolly scarves and fires and you know it's just so lovely, isn't it? The rustic feel and that does do it for me. These chocolate pearls are absolutely gorgeous. And I think they're quite similar, if not the exact same pearls as the one on the vine necklace up on the shelf that we keep talking about that Sue did, which was wonderful. Really wonderful piece of jewellery. We've all we all um, have fallen in love with that a little bit, haven't we? So I've got those chocolate pearls here. Now I've also got the really sparkly hematite because of all of the wonderful facets in these wise beads. Every time you move them, they give you that that mirrored bling. If you if you see what I mean, absolutely beautiful. And I think hematite can look quite vintage because a lot of vintage jewellery has hematite in it. Victorian uh, jewellery used they used a lot of hematite, didn't they? Now you've got here. Wonderful garnet, beautiful. They say that garnet is the king of the gemstones. And in this colour, this deep mulled wine. I'm obsessed with mulled wine, aren't I? Hang on a minute, Scott. It's a Christmas show. Where's the mulled wine? What were you thinking? It's not Debbie's bag. She's ill. It's your bag. In fact, it would, it would have been quite medicinal for you today. It would have been, actually, yes. Unbelievable, Scott. <laughs> Unbe you should be I had the cloves and the cinnamon and the oranges. All you had to do was supply the wine. Blame Kim. On Christmas Day. Are you working on Christmas Day, Amelia? Oh, I'm not. I know. I'm not, I'm not bragging. I'm feeling sorry for you. Do you want me to? I'll ring you and say I'm having a brilliant time. <laughs> now, I'm going to give you all three. These are very, very Christmassy for £9.95. Nine ninety-five, so that's three pound thirty per strand. You've got a double strand of garnet here, and let's think about how these are going to add to our jewelry. If you're making your own Christmas decorations, again, the Christmas table. I talk about the Christmas table ever such a lot. This is a great one for your napkin rings. Great wire work twisted. Wonderful those chocolate pearls for just a pair of pearl earrings. So how much are you going to charge for those? I think this actually has a lot of texture. These are potato pearls. A lot of texture together with that garnet. You can make something really, really, really deep and autumnal. And I would use the antique bronze wire, I think, or the gold wire with this one. You could make Christmas tree decorations. I love the fact that there is so much scope for your design here. And these are must-have gemstones for the winter and autumn. Autumn, not autumn. What's autumn? 
<laughs> the, you know, the alter. The water in Majorca don't taste like what it alter. Uh, G O G C forty four. Do you remember that saying? No. No. The water in Majorca don't taste like what it alter. Do you remember that? Yeah, I don't know where it's from. Nine ninety five. Down to the last twenty of these in stock. Debbie, if only you could climb into my brain for a day, you'd understand me so much better. Nine, you might not come out right, though. <laughs> now, can I give everybody a quick reminder of what's coming up in the show? We have got the extruder launch at half past ten, and in about 15 minutes. I've got the most beautiful smoky quartz for you. Debbie's pick for today is this beautiful smoky quartz. Fluoride. Isn't this gorgeous? This book? I know Mark Smith's going to be in on that one. And then I've got these huge agate rounds. I have got for you. Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling. We need an actual sleigh, I've just decided. I've got the new cutters. Aren't they cute? Little Christmas trees. Do you know, it would be really easy just to make polymer clay Christmas trees green with that lovely glitter. But do we, we had that really crazy, was it foils we put on the glitter? Oh, do you remember that last time when we had the crazily glittery polymer clay? What was it we did to it? Um, was that the iridescent? Yeah. The iridescent right glitter, do you think yeah. you're thinking of? Like it was ridiculously glittery. Mm, it was beautiful. But it wasn't chunks of glitter, it was fine, 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 fine. Oh, yes. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Beautiful. That oh, would look gorgeous. They are. That would look gorgeous with a green polymer clay. Now, we want to know what you're doing for your Christmas decorations. Let us know. Here it is, the extruder DVD coming up for you in about 15 minutes time. Woohoo! What time? Half past ten. Extrudiosum. <laughs> now, let's go. Let me do, let me do a 10 strand bundle, is that all right, Scott? Have a look. Oh, Debbie, you're going to love this. It's all your colours. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at these prisms. Aren't they fab? Now, you've got oh, 10 strands that. in it. Have you seen this? No, I haven't. Isn't it wonderful? You look in your little monitor now, you can see. Now Debbie's got her own personal monitor. Oh, I have. Very posh. Aren't they fab? They're lovely. They're really lovely. They are, aren't they? I just love a new shape. These are just cute in earrings or as pendants, wouldn't they? No. I've also got a few pennies. These are so autumnal. I love the autumn. I absolutely love it. Apart from I keep slipping over on the, on the leaves. Now. Oh, look, look at these. Mm. Do you know what? Gemma Crow's in the next room and she's wearing all these colours, look. This is very, very, very seasonal, Debbie, isn't it? You've got the, uh, mark, you've got the rice beads there. You've got the drums. You've got the plump teardrops of Jasper. You've got the rounds. E do you know what? Every strand so far is a different shape. Have you noticed that? But it is very autumnal, but it's very versatile because of all the different shapes you've got. Long barrels. Now, the only one that's the same shape is, uh, uh, look, you've only got two that are the same shape. This is a must-have autumn bundle. Absolutely stuck. Gemma Crow's giving me the big thumbs up. She, say that again, Gemma. Do you like it? She loves it. They all love it. Look at those lovely <coughs> ladies. Aren't they lovely? Paul, Paul then saw me without my makeup on this morning. It was a very frightening experience for all of them. I went, oh, I've forgotten. It's like, um, it was awful. It was awful for, for them. Absolutely dreadful. And Gemma, when I came, she went, oh, you look better. You look, you look terrible without your makeup on. She didn't say that, but she meant it. She went, you look very different without makeup on. And I went, yeah, I know. I know how rough I look in the mornings. No, I'm the kind of person that's got to get up an hour before a boyfriend just in case he actually sees a real face. 
<laughs> you know what I'm on about, girls, don't you? Right. One day he's going to wake up and see your real face, and then he's never going to come back again. Look at what you've got. Your fancy <laughs> Jasper octagons are 10 by 8. Your Victor Jasper drums are 10 by 8. Fancy Jasper twisted tubes are 20 by 9. So those are big, those are. Your Pidge Jasper top drill drops are 10 by 8. Those are nice and plump. Fancy Jasper uh, trapezoids, I like that word, 12 by 8. Red Jasper barrels are 12 by 6. Your multicolored Jasper flat coins are 12 mil. Jasper plain rounds are 10 mil. Multicolored bamboo leaf Jasper puffy coins are 12 mil. And your red Jasper drums are 18 by 10. Is the 10 strand stash builder totally autumnal? All of this, each strand, for just £3.49 pence each. It's an absolute deal. And this is, do you know what? These are this season's must have colours. They are absolutely cinnamon spice, gorgeous, and autumnal. Now, there's lots of you on the phone lines for this one. Don't forget if you've got an open basket, it's just one PMP you're going to pay all day long. Now, uh, approaching half of the stock has gone, just to let you know. We haven't been doing 10 strand bundles a lot lately, have we? Oh, yes, Lord Oxbury is away. We can do what we want. Hey, gorgeous. She's not going to ring and tell you. She might tweet you. She's been twittering all night long. My phone kept going. It's like, will you get off Twitter? It's 3 a.m. 34, 9, 20. It wasn't 3 a.m. to her, though. In India, it's a different time, isn't it? They, that's what they say. They say it's a different time in India. Is that true? <laughs> they say the sun rises when, I, when it's really night time. <laughs> I always forget things like that. I did have to, did have that Anna Oxbury, and then, and then I had another call at one o'clock in the morning. Ridiculous. Do these people not know when they're in foreign lands? They can't just willy-nilly call you? Come on. To, and I had Max next to me, because he wasn't very well, punching me in the face in his sleep. <laughs> you know what it's like, mums, when you've got those little critters in the bed with you, breathing all over you, and you love it, but really, you're like, I really would like to get some sleep now. £34.95. pence. I'm terrible for doing that. Terrible for letting my kids like, go on, let, yeah, you can sleep with me. We can have a little cuddle. You're not supposed to do it. They tell you never to do it. And I did that. I remember the midwife saying to me, you must just let them cry. As if that's going to happen. They're in my bed. <laughs> Don't, we're not supposed to recommend anything like that, obviously, when they're babies. But, um, yeah, I'm terrible for that. Terrible. I know. Now. Now. What? what what are we going to do now? Let's do some crimp beads. I would, I would like to do... I would like to do... Can we do the crimp bead covers first? Where's my... There it is. These were new last week. And we don't have many of them left. They're sterling silver, these crimp bead covers. I've got to say, Debbie, I can't do without crimp bead covers because I make so many mistakes in jewellery. I don't use them for just their traditional use. I use them to fill out gaps because I haven't... I haven't... I haven't um, worked it out right with my spacing. I do that very often. And I think, I'm not going to understand it all. You yeah. know how scatty I am. I love the fact that these can just fix it for me. Well, I think also, when I first joined here, that's the one thing I said, please, can you put in the kits? Because they do neaten your jewellery. But also, yeah. if you're selling your jewellery, you know what it's like when you put a, a necklace on and you put it on, and two seconds later, you think, oh, this is really scratchy on the back of my neck. And it just comes straight off. And you don't wear it again? No. So always remember to cut your beading thread before putting the crimp cover over the top. Yeah. And then use it to encase that. Yes. Yeah, I, actually, that's a very good tip, and it's true. I, I do do that. Uh, but it is, you know, if you're not naturally neat and tidy in your jewellery making like, like me, of course, as you can imagine, um, then these are, you can't live without, you just can't live without them. But not just that. If you put them in between a black onyx, they look amazing. So they're also adding to, the, to your designs. I think there's so many reasons that you need these. They go on to cord beautifully. So you know sometimes if you've got a little uh, silver ball, you can't get your cord through it? I actually put these onto my cord and squidge them, and that's where I would yeah. use it in place. So great for micro macrame and things like that. They're wonderful. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Back in stock, GJG P47. You've got a hundred of these, and you know what? They are still in But I will say one thing, one tip, because I have used these. If you um, buy our kits where you get the hundred findings and you get the um, crimpy covers in there, 
the, the silver is a lot softer. Now, my, the first thing I did was I went squidge and I went, oh, I've over squidged. Don't over squidge because they are more malleable. You, you'll flatten them. You'll only do it once, but just to prevent you from doing it in the first place, because that's what I did and I went, I'm so silly because I know in my mind that silver is a lot softer, but I just forgot to think about it. Uh, so, so there's my tip is to do that because if you're anything like me, action first, think after. 100 in a pack for just seven pounds and 95 pence. And I think, you know what, if you are getting your jewelry valued, if you want your, or if your jewelry's for a bride, if it's heirloom pieces, you want to use sterling silver, don't you? And there is a time and a place for, uh, for non-precious metal findings. If you're doing vintage pieces that you want to look, you know, really, uh, uh, really steampunk is the word I'm looking for then you'd probably go for the antique bronze but when it's bridal when it's special when it's a Christmas present Debbie sterling silver all the way absolutely and also you have no worry then if anyone's allergic to anything mm. to any metals you know they're not gonna have any problems at all do you um, know that's true put your mind it? at rest then if it's you important. offer your customers sterling or non sterling do they normally do they normally go sterling? I don't have a chance to do many craft fairs these days, but I used to always say, oh, I'll oh, oh, have a note on my, my um, craft table, that if anything is here in sterling silver or, st or silver plated, if you want a quote for the other, then let me know. And sterling That's silver does tip, sell actually. really well, really well. And if you, are, if you have, perhaps you've got the ideal home exhibition coming up, perhaps yeah. you've got um, a stand here, there or everywhere at the craft fair, at the Chip in Norton, at the, uh, you know, at the Burford, you could, um, you know, you could st stock up on these, it would be a very good idea. £7.95, pence your item code, GJGP47, because um, I was talking to Tom earlier, his, um, his girlfriend does craft fairs for different reasons, she does hair accessories and things. I was talking to Tom about the uh, the upcoming events that are, that are mm. we're all buzzing for now, we're all getting ready for now. And actually, we're Christmas shopping now. I think a lot of people are, Debbie. A yes, lot of people were doing what yeah. I was doing yesterday because you just can't afford to get it all in one go yeah. anymore. You have Absolutely. to be careful with your money now. And I think you know now more than ever people are christmas shopping early i've noticed on facebook a lot of people are saying oh bought bought lots of christmas presents today and i'm thinking you know what everybody's being sensible and i've got to say even i'm included in that because we're all out there i think at the yeah. moment trying to make sure we're being sensible aren't we so uh, if you are doing your christmas fairs stock up and be ready for the christmas rush i think the uh, i think this is the busiest time for that kind of thing and i think we're all going for quality at the moment aren't we rather than quantity because people want value for money at the moment so oh gosh the yes yes and if you give them sterling silver they know it's something that they will treasure and will increase in value and that's important you're very right and I think if we're going to spend our hard-earned money now, we're really thinking about what we're buying. Yeah, we're not just willy-nilly spending, are we? Now, remember the days of willy-nilly spending? No, not really. Before kids. BC. <laughs> no, that's K. Kids is with a K, isn't it? BK, before kids. Now, I'm going. Keep, keep on the phone lines for the uh, crimp bees, or them crimp boots. Crimpe covers, they're not crimpe, they're crimpe covers, you're very brummy. Don't forget, coming up very, 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 very soon is the Extruder DVD, literally in a couple of minutes. Are we going to squeeze another one in before the break, or are we going to go straight to this? We'll go, all right, Scotty. Scotty's going to go straight to the break because we need to get prepared for the Extruder DVD. Add to your collection with our Sculpey Clay Projects DVD, full of handy tips and hints for all levels. Join guest designer Debbie Bulford as she teaches us how to create the Skinner Blend technique, how to use the extruder tool, how to make a three-part necklace and much more. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655. From the 1st of November, we will be live for 12 hours a day. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
the collection with our Sculpey Clay Basics DVD, full of handy tips and hints for all levels. Join guest designer Debbie Bulford as she teaches us how to create basic canes, kaleidoscope canes, bead shapes and much more. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655. The long-awaited DVD launch is finally upon us. It's time to get on the phone lines now. I'm going to give you two bundles. The first bundle I don't have lots of, so you need to be quick. It involves Debbie's incredible extruder DVD. You are going to get the extruder if you've got the extruder already. Take my advice, grab two. You can use the other one for your baking. Don't use both. Make sure you put a label on one saying baking only, though. Now. You've got the DVD. Debbie, talk to me about the wonderful extruder DVD. What can I expect from you? Well, the ones on the front, I know that you've seen me demonstrate many times before, but I was asked to do that. But there are a load of new ideas on that DVD. Um, how to make your own coils with it, how to make lacy designs, all sorts of different ideas for your um, extruder. <gasps> it's a really, really busy, busy, busy DVD. How many projects do you think are on there? Six, I think. The six. Look at that Sutash. I'm yeah. in love with that. I love it. Yeah. You're brilliant, you are. Just. Oh, no, 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 no. No, we, we do do that one. We show you how to do that, the Sutash on there. The quality it's is beautiful. incredible, it Debbie. It has come out really well, actually. Yeah. You know what? You are an absolute genius in your field, Debbie Bolford, and we love you. This is incredible. Grab this DVD for yourself, for your best friend, to start learning about the polymer clay extruder. Now, I'm going to give you the DVD which is 4 95 on its own. I'm also going to give you brand new Christmas cutters. I'm also going to give you the extruder. Now the extruder, you fill your polymer clay, we're going to give you some polymer clay later as well. You fill the extruder with polymer clay, you put, firstly of course, whichever design you want. Then you twist the extruder down and it will always go squeak, squeak, squeak. There, are, there isn't such a thing as a non-squeaky no, extruder. That's quite right. It's true. Quite right. And then you literally get like a long sausage coming out of the end and when you slice it, you get these little hearts or flowers or whatever it is you're making or you can twist it and cut it in half if you want it you know there's lots and lots of different things that you can do so you've got the cutters remember this bundle is our lowest stock bundle so there's a very high chance that this one will sell out in the next couple of minutes you need to be on the phone and if you are shopping online you must check out baskets quarters of stock's gone online already let's give to you your price tag uh, the extruder is 7.95 on its own the dvd as we know is 4.95 on its own the new cutters on their own are 4.95 on their own that's a good price it's a really good price but i'm going to give you the whole bundle for just £14.95, CGG C77 is your item code. You have got to act fast. Do not miss out on this incredible deal. 0800 644 655 or the w.jurymaker.com. Check out baskets now approaching half of the stock of this has gone. We're very, very, very busy. The brand new extruder DVD. Scott's just telling me, my producer's just telling me <coughs> that there is a queue on the phone lines. It is a free phone number if you're dialing from a UK landline. If you don't have time to wait in a queue, get to the website, but you must check out right now. You're in competition on the, between the website and the telephone. If you, if you quickly join the telephone queues, you might be successful, so do it now. Oh my gosh, you, you know what? You really have to be quick. Three quarters of the entire stock has been allocated. I knew this would be very, 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 very popular. We're gonna go over and see Debbie in a tick. And I, I've got one more to give you with the DVD and just the extruder on itself. Uh, on itself on itself that was terrible that's the sort of thing i tell my kids off for what's that uh, that's coming up shortly uh, right now it's all about this bundle for 14 pounds 95 pence let's get over to that very very talented lady <coughs> her name is deborah she was a showgirl i'm getting attacked by forestry now I'm, oh i'm just gonna come i'm just gonna come over now debbie I, yes. oh my gosh that brooch is amazing 
I love you. You're just fun. Right, inspire me in every way. I don't, I'm going to shut up because oh, you yeah. are just brilliant. <laughs> right, well, the extruder can be used for lots of different things. Not just for polymer clay, but if you um, have... Well, you can use this actually for um, icing. Somebody said to me they use it for, for their little cakes, actually, at the weekend. I've Why used not? it. But don't I've use used it, it for both. Don't use it. Fond and icing, but it's got to be. It's really, got to be. Really can't be sticky, otherwise no, it won't go through no. properly. But obviously, don't use it with clay. Once you've used no, it. No, I put a blob of um, nail varnish on mine, so I know that it's mm, it's a baking good idea. one. So these have lots of different different shapes. They can be used um, if you do do card making for the hair, for your animals, your uh, pendant be uh, bezels to go around your lovely designs. It can be used for lots of different things. It can be used for your Santa's hair when you start to do your um, little Christmas decorations. If I take that one off, you can see what I mean. The face has gone a bit dark on that one, but you see what I mean about the hair? Yeah. It can be used for your beards <gasps> and your hair, for your I love it. Santa decorations. So it can be used in lots of ways, and kids love using things like this. So, um, just to show you how it's used, I've just put this very quick brooch together. And you take the end off your extruder, you choose the die, this is called die cutters, um, that you put in the, in the bottom. Wind the threaded bar back, so you've got that, whatever gap you've got there, you've got inside, because it goes right down to the bottom. So you wind that back, pop in the clay of your choice, and I've, I've chosen the same antique gold here, mm. and put on the die cutter on the end. I don't do them up so they're really tight, leave them so they're a little Ooh. bit loose. It's just easier to undo at the end. Otherwise, oh, so it gets so stiff. It's not going to pop off, though. No, 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 it's fine. And, and the top one, I don't do up tight either. So oh, then, that's a good then tip, you turn. Actually, yeah, yeah, it's a lot easier then. It works a lot easier. So then you turn and turn and wait for the mouse. Here it is. Oh, look at the worms coming out. I love it. No, it is so the Play Doh <laughs> um, hairdresser shop when absolutely. I was little. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, look. Can I touch it? Yeah, just come. There you go. I love All it. Right. I just love it. Look. <gasps> I could make Rapunzel. Of course you could. Now you could do just one hole and have a long spaghetti, but it's quicker to do oh, it this spaghetti. way. spaghetti. Oh, I could, yeah. I love this, Debbie. So, make a um, shape of polymer clay to fit your cabochon. Now, these cabochons I made because I like the look of sea glass. I had a relation of a couple of Sundays ago who came on a Sunday experience, and she bought some sea glass with her because she's from Cornwall. And Ooh, I thought, well, how on earth yeah. can I... Um, reproduce that and then I saw funnily enough in one of the magazines I've forgotten the lady's name and I'm really sorry I have to find it when I get home a lady who did this and all it is it's translucent clay yeah and then you can use either pastels I that was wax no this is just translucent clay put into one of the, the cabochon molds that we mm -hmm. sell on the website and then you literally get chalk or pastels and you just put it on rub it with your oh, finger no. and it looks like sea glass so that oh, I just, just used chalk. yes chalk and then I've glazed it so I meant oh to bring some in with me actually and I forgot to pick clever. it up. But just chalks or pastels and you just rub it onto the top and onto the base. Wax pastels? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, the powdery sort of pastels that you use for, for painting and with yeah, charcoal, know. Yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, so any pastels or, or children's chalks you can put onto the top, rub in uh, when it's That's baked funny. and then leave it so it soaks into the, um, the clay because it is quite porous uh, polymer clay. And then you can you can varnish it, so then you can seal it, so it doesn't come off oh, on your clothing. Fabulous. So this one I just left blank. I meant to pick some chalks got on the way out, and I forgot to pick them up, so I'm sorry. But um, this is just blank. So I'm going to put that onto my polymer clay, mm -hmm. right like that. I'll move it down a tiny little bit so you can see. There you go. And I've made the underneath very very roughly, slightly bigger. So you're not worrying about the underneath because no, it's not going to be seen. No. no. And you literally, I mean, this, this, this has dried out a bit in the studio, and anything with a mica powder is going to be drier anyway. These, these, this sort of clay won't be as soft and as flexible as the coloured polymer clays. It's just one of those things. And you literally, I mean, how easy is this? You just literally the go powder, around. Isn't it? I think the mica powder soak up some of the plasticizers, oh, and okay, so it becomes okay. slightly brittle. So you have to work it a bit more, and I did work it earlier, but it's obviously dried out over the last hour or so. But you keep going round and round and round, and that is as easy as it is. That's literally I what you do. I can't believe how you easy You go round and round and round and round and round until you get to something you like. And I just put a little bit of mica powder around this one, just to give it a bit of a sheen. Now, on the back of it... Um, oh, yeah, what do you do? Okay, on the back, I have just a shop-bought um, brooch back, 
that you can buy anywhere. We need to have shops. these findings here. Well, we, we did, I'm not so sure if we still do they're actually, but they're, know, they're only pence. They just sell out every time. They do. Take a, light, a little scrap of the same colour clay and push it down because then you can bake that and you can bake that That'll next bake to each other. Oh, okay. Okay, and then when they're cooked, you just need to lift that, lift the back, and stick it on with glue. Okay, that'll stay. Why don't you bake them together in the oven? Because if you did, the heat would make it, it, it sort of dome over the top of it. Oh, I see. Yeah, it would so misshape. It'd misshapen. See what okay. I mean? So if you bake mm -hmm. that, bake the two first and then put them together and stick, and then you've got a brooch. Can I ask you, you've already baked this, but yeah. you hadn't baked this. No. But I baked that because I wanted to put the um, chalks right, on. Right, but at home you bake mine. everything at the same time? You can do, yes. Okay, fine. Yeah. Right, yeah, you sorry, can. just my brain. No, 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 absolutely, no, absolutely. No, you can. Or you can do lots of these if you scrap you know, translucent clay and keep them and put whatever colour you want as and when you want. You do soutache around them, you do whatever you want with them. I love, do you know, that soutache on that DVD, mm -hmm. we've all been going crazy for. <laughs> just to let you know, we're down to the last eight of the first bundle. Wow. We have got another bundle coming up for you later. Um, so don't panic, but if you wanted the bundle with the cutters, it is about to sell out. If you have it in an unchecked basket, you need to check it out right now. Otherwise, you're gonna miss out to uh, a telephone caller. Wow, unbelievable. So That's your so extruder easy. is, an, uh, do you know what, Debbie, you, you just, love the extruder you're using it I all do. the time I use it all the time not and you'll see on the DVD it's not just for doing long strings of, of things you can use it for so many patterns you can slice the patterns and put mm. them onto to bracelets and I say do the soutache think about the different different shapes look at the shapes and see how you can use them it's really fantastic so you need to make sure you are checking out baskets right now are we going to do the polymer clay now Scotty we're going to give you some polymer clay which cutters do I get Let's have a look at what you've got here. I'm getting the new cutters as well, am I? Okay, fine. So you have got the 18 karat gold colour. I love that gold. I do as well. What colour is it that you've this used? Is, this is like an old gold, this one. This is a different gold. That, it would work really well, wouldn't it? It would, like and that? you can always get this colour by mixing black into that one. Ah. You've got copper. That's lovely, that and one. And they've actually. got, can you see, whoops, sorry. When that's baked, that's lovely with the rose gold. You can see the iridescence, can't yeah, you, on there? Yeah, beautiful. And then you've got the raw sienna. The raw sienna mixed with the gold will give you almost like an old gold, will give you a bronze. Oh, really Really, lovely. really lovely. Very nice colour. So really, really vintage yeah. feel to Always this think bundle. about mixing your colours. Do you know, that because it comes in such an array of colours, I've got to be honest with you, I've never mixed my polymer clay I never use ever. them out of the packet. The only time I ever you use them... You always mix yours. Well, yeah, I'm going to go with you, you're better at it than me. Except if I'm in the me. studio, but at home, I, oh, I never ever use them out of the packet. It's funny. I wonder why. Because I Because you know exactly what you want, that's why. Yeah, I like yeah. Them. Certain things I like. I'm going to start doing it, because I just take them as they are. It's a good tip, though, isn't it? ODGC78 is your item code. You've got your raw Sienna, your 18 karat gold, and your copper. Uh, all 57 grams, and you get your Christmas cutter set with your bell, your snowman, and your Christmas tree. Your clay essentials, ODGC78 is your item code. Make sure, again, that you are checking out baskets. We're very, very busy indeed today. You've all got a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you bought the deal just now with the cutters, remember, if you're using it for polymer clay, don't use these cutters for baking as well. If you if you think, oh, do you know what? I could do a set of those yeah. in my baking Keep drawer. Yeah, then do that. That's, mm. I'm taking these ones home today. Yeah, I mean, you can bake just plain um, polymer clay shapes with those and then draw on them with your pens, like Zentangle, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, or I'll tell you what you can do. If you've got a sticky label, you know, the white sticky labels you yeah. can buy, draw your designs that you want, like the face of the snowman, draw around the stencil, and then you can cut those out and stick them on and sprinkle glitter and then put, peel off. <gasps> The sticky label, and then you've got She's your own genius. stencil. She's it works genius. really well with polymer clay. I just, you need to stay here forever. <laughs> now, don't go anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Somebody chain Debbie to the desk. I'm not going chain anywhere. her up. Bastard. Chain her up. Why? 7.95. Oh, yeah, you've got a bit. I want to put, listen, it's too cold over here for somebody who's poor. It isn't, it's lovely. Honestly. Are you sure? Yes, truly. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence is your price. Like, be quick in grabbing yours. This really is. It. How many have we got? Mostly, we've only got thirty of these left. We're so busy oh my goodness, today. Hey? We do love polymer clay, especially at Christmas. I've got to be honest. And coming up to half term, great for kids. It's half term Makes now. Sense. I know. Half term. I know. 
Kids do love it. They do. They do they love do. it. They do, they do, they do. I, I, I like the idea, actually, of the kids making the Christmas tree decorations. And you know you get a bit... I don't know if you're like me. You get a bit protective over your Christmas tree, like, not there, that's yes. going to go there. <laughs> or you let them do it, and then you redo it when they go to bed. Actually, if you let them make their own decorations, you lovely. can't really go wrong with these because no, they're going to cut them out. No, absolutely not. No, they're lovely. So if you are a little bit OCD like I am over your Christmas tree decorations, this is a great way of getting the kids Jeez. involved and letting them be involved without sort of go Because oh! I know in our minds we've got this wonderful fantasy picture of our perfect <laughs> Christmas tree and they just throw them on, don't they, excitedly. Uh, down to the last 15 of these now at £7.95. pence. This one's going to sell out certainly in the live show probably in the next minute or so. ODGC78 is your item code. It is so lovely to have you come company today we are very 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 busy and it's already flying by can you believe it's 10 to 11 already goodness me even Where's though you feel gone? poorly I'm fine I'm fine you feel all right I'm okay good I feel like I need to do something no I sound Soup. worse than um, I am yeah. I quite like looking after people when they're poorly yeah, I know that sounds a bit weird yeah. Yeah, but yeah, you know what yeah. it's quite a nice you know yeah. oh, snuggle you up Come on, come on, come on, oh, we'll leave no, Debbie sweet. all snug. Get, you know those, you know what I love? What? And I know this is mad, but I've What's always that? wanted. You know those slippers that are for two feet? You could never walk in, <gasps> just put your feet in them. I've always dreamt about owning some of those. My son wanted to buy my mother-in-law when she was with us, God, God rest her soul. Um, Christine wanted to buy a set of those for her, and I could just imagine her going up to walk to the kitchen and falling flat on the face. I've said, always no, please, wanted please, them. Don't, 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 don't. They're so unsexy <laughs> though, aren't they? Yes, those and snuggle blankets, yes. It's that and my morning face that's going to see me <laughs> single for the rest of my life, isn't oh, it? Dear. Come on, I won't let him. I won't let on. What are these? Nothing, they're just a plant pot. <laughs> Come on, don't leave me because of the slippers. <laughs> now, I'm going to give to you. Scott, should we do this one? What, what do you want to do, darling? Let's do... Let's do that. This will go really nicely with the polymer clay, though. Let's do this. And look, how cool is this as a stretchy? It's, can I just put, I'm going to wear it as a necklace. I love big, chunky rounds because I think simple. It's easy. It is easy, isn't it? To make your own necklace look gorgeous straight away. How fantastic is this? It's absolutely wonderful, isn't it? Now, you need to be on the phone lines for these because... Big rounds are very popular at the moment. If you want to make a big beady bead, then you need a big round to do it. The rounds are your best friends as a jewellery maker. They're easy. If you just started jewellery making, this is such an easy strand to lead you into stretchy bracelets and simple necklaces, like I just said. But Debbie, these are great for wire work rings. Just one of these. You can cage them in the style of Laura binding. What would you do with these? I would just do a couple of stretchy bracelets. Me too. With probably some of these beautiful <gasps> hematite spaces in between. Some yes. of the silver or the, the mystic hematite stretch spaces, and they would look stunning. They'd look really snazzy, wouldn't mm, they? Beautiful. You've got some very pink ones yes. in there, actually. Yeah, I have. Now, your fuchsia banded agate plain rounds. Have a look at this. Agate as well. Let's, let's think about that. Real gemstones. These aren't glass. They're huge. They're massive. Absolutely huge. Six. 180 carats of great big rounds. These will look wonderful with some wire through them. Gold wire, what do you reckon? Gold wire, Amelia, or the baby pink? Rose gold. Rose gold. Gorgeous, the copper, yeah? I've, I'm just thinking there's so you could definitely have just one of these as a drop couldn't you or an over-the-head necklace over the head necklace you could have about seven of these knotted in nice. on um, beading thread yeah. on the suede that would look lovely wouldn't it already 20 of these have gone let's give to you your price like that only seven pounds and 95 pence let me count these little babies for you <laughs> they're not little are they They'd be great with it. Because you do tend to do quite large polymer clay rounds, don't you, Debbie? I do. I do. They would look fabulous, actually, with some of the beautiful um, flowered, you know, the lovely large flowered polymer clay beads that you can buy. They would mm -hmm. look lovely interspersed with those. Really, really pretty and feminine. I've got 26 on my strand. Goodness me. 26? 
It's unbelievable, isn't it? I love these as well. Seven ninety five. Do you remember the old days, Scott? When strands like this would have been so much more expensive. Actually, do you know what? How many did I say I had? Twenty six, did you say? Twenty six on here. Now I saw a place the other day that was selling a pound of gemstone for these. That is standard. And it's genuine agate. Agate's got this lovely banding to it, so you can always tell it's a real gemstone. Not glass. Every single one is going to be different. You can, you can pick which one you want for an individual project. Could be that you want that solid colour. Could be that you want that banding. It could be that you want that fusion of sort of lighter pink right into the deep, deep damson plums. We've been drinking damson gin, Alice and I. Which our mum makes it, it's blinking gorgeous. Oh my gosh, the only danger of it is you could actually drink it like a soft drink, don't do that. As Alice and I, as Alice and I discovered, it hurts in the morning. Oh. <laughs> now, we've only got 100 of these left, so you must <coughs> act fast. I'm gonna give you some more polymer clay now. Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. I can't wait to go see Santa this year. <laughs> What are you Ooh. going to ask Santa for? What Sorry, are you going to ask him for? What am I going to ask him for? Ooh. I've already got everything I want, Debbie. A nice family. And I've already got that. That's all a girl wants, isn't it? That's nice. No. Oh, someone be sick in a bucket. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. But I have got everything I want. Although I have got a big list of other things that somebody else can get me. <laughs> 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 no, I haven't. I don't care. Do you know what? As long as the kids are happy and we're all together, I don't care. That's, that's what it's about for me. Now, this is a very limited bundle. Debbie Bolfer, what have you asked for for Christmas? I haven't, actually. You're I'm a bit like you. It. I don't yeah. need anything. I don't want. I just want everybody just, else to have a nice yeah, time. A happy, healthy Christmas, that's mm. all. And have your boys back from uni? Yeah. With all that washing they're going to bring Oh, home. lovely. Thank you. <laughs> oh, do you know what, though? It is, it is just nice to have that family home for them, isn't it? it is. That's what I... That's, what, that's my Christmas, to have everyone happy. That's all I care about. And my little snugglers. Now, have a look at this. Oh, I love that purple, Debbie. Isn't it gorgeous? It's a real, real festive... Um, festive bundle that is isn't it it really is it is you can do your um reindeers and your snowmen and all sorts of things reindeers snowmen i am <laughs> they're all laughing at me because i'm like <gasps> reindeers i love it i want actual reindeers in my garden i'm not allowed them some kind of rule against it now what do alpacas get on the reindeer we're about to find out folks <laughs> I didn't get the alpacas. There was not a good reaction on the end of the phone. Just to explain to you, my partner's gone away. He's been away for 10 days. And I'm a little bit like I don't really know what to do with myself, so I'm doing random things like, I think I'm going to go and buy an alpaca today. <laughs> like, it nearly happened. But only because I heard that when they get upset, they hum. And I thought I really liked the sound of that. <laughs> I just thought it was strange, and so I would like it. But yeah. it's fine. Uh, everything will go back to normal tonight. Now, have a look at these. Look at this lovely colour. Could this be Santa? Could this be Santa's red? Could it? It could, couldn't it? And you've got the silver for your snowflakes. Is this translucent? This silver one. It is called. I'm going to ask Debbie because I hang on a minute. I've got to take the label off it because I can't see the actual. Well, I wasn't really asking you, Scott. It is. It's the pearl. It's the pearly one translucent. Pearl. No, it's not translucent, but it has a shimmer to it. Yeah. So it's like having an off-white with a with a shine to it, which is pearl. It's like pearls. It looks beautiful. So excellent. And this one looks black. Black. Can you mix oh, it with black? It looks absolutely what it would beautiful. Work. Oh yes, it's like a black like, pearl, yeah. like a Tahitian oh, pearl. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Oh Debbie, I love. Do you know what? Can we not just have a whole four hours of playing with polymer clay one day? I would <laughs> love that. Then you've got your, uh, your gold, and you've got your purple. Proper aubergine, that purple as well, mm. isn't it? It is a beautiful, rich colour. And if you do mix with purple, you don't need very much of it because it has such a strong pigment. So it's good. This is all 8 95 so it's a great value. And change out of £10 for this is a really outstanding value. Mm. I can't wait. 
I literally can't wait to see all of your pieces. Do you know what would be lovely if somebody could send us it? We had a big tree, and instead of the Wall of Fame, everyone sent us in a little Christmas decoration to put on the tree. Oh, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Do you think it? we should do that? Yeah. I'd love that. Get it. I would love that, and we'll do it like the Tree of Fame. Yeah. Be good. Can we do the Tree of Fame? Make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen, Amelia, because you I are you are like God here. You can make everything happen. Eight pounds and ninety-five pence for all of this. It really is a fantastic deal. HJGC fifty-four value. Fabulous, Scott. You said that really creepy in my ears. <laughs> they made me shudder. <laughs> Shall we go and do that? You said it all like this isn't just any bundle. Like, oh, Scott, said it a bit sexy then. Hang on. <laughs> now, a lot sexy. He went just a bit. <laughs> We're going to see another, just a Scott calendar, I think we'd like, wouldn't we, girls? Who said, oh, yes, please? Kirsty sat next to him, she went, oh, yes, please. Rubbing her thighs at the thought of it. <laughs> oh, Scott, you're not safe where you sat. Good. Scott's going, oh. Scott, do you know what? He walks around here like a little Adonis. He shouldn't look like that. Come and have a look. Have a look. Oh, well, that's why he's employed here. Not that he's good at his job. He just looks good. Not really. Not really. He's very good at his job. Now, we won't open that can of sexist worms. Now, have a look. He's for our diet. He's for our diet coke break. That's what he's for. Now, you've got the extruder DVD. The last one sold out. It's gone. The last bundle sold out and it went and that was it. You've got the extruder as well. So you, this one, you get the extruder and the DVD, and you're going to get it at an incredible price tag. The extruder DVD shows you how many wonderful things, and there is so much more. Debbie does loads and loads and loads of projects, and that's just gonna set you off. You're then gonna be, there's no stopping you. There will be no stopping. How many times, if, when you start playing with your polymer clay, does the <coughs> extruder come out? Is it every time? Oh, just about every time, yes. Could you Especially live without come, it? Um, no, no, it wouldn't look as professional. I like to put a uh, clay around my pendants just to sort of finish them off. I, I'm eyeing up what Debbie's made for a challenge there. I can see that sparkle. Debbie, I love it. <laughs> that might I not make it, it to the I Facebook did, page. Now. <coughs> The extruded DVD is brand new today. We launched it just a moment ago. The last bundle sold out. This is your extruded DVD with the extrudiosum as well. UJGC05 is your item code with a 30 day money back guarantee. You are not going to want to miss this deal. The extruder on its own is seven pounds and 95 pence the dvd on its own is four pounds and 95 pence but together my darling jewelry makers we're gonna give you the dvd for just two pounds i did that little pause because i was adding it up in my brain nine pounds and 95 pence unbelievable let us know let us know why you're picking up the phone for this today let us know if you've been waiting for it let us know if you've used polymer clay talk to us about your jewelry making experiences 60777 jm studio followed by your message we love hearing from you we absolutely love it when it gets interactive please do tweet us as well we are at jewelry underscore maker you can tweet me tweet me i love being tweeted we are i am at ginevra j-e-n-e-v-r-a debbie bolford are you on twitter no twitter. I'm not. are you on twitter kaz yes what's your am i i'm gonna i want to follow you well you know. it's not private twitter's not private if you want to be private don't go on twitter go go on facebook twitter's not for you if you're a private person what's your tweet what's your twitter i'm not on twitter you're not a tweeter no. i'm obsessed with it now suddenly i didn't know how to do it before but i hashtag know what i'm doing now <laughs> keep going around keep going to the kids i'm hashtag excited and mia goes if you carry on with this hashtagging i'm not going to speak to you for a whole week i'm like i'm hashtag excited she says i'm the most embarrassing mother in the actual world she said you're hashtag embarrassing me <laughs> get lost Kirsten's just said in my ear, there's a baby called hashtag <coughs> a bye boy A bye boy An actual bye boy Who's called their baby hashtag? It has to be in America, I think. 
I love that they've done that. I wouldn't necessarily call my child hashtag, but each to their own, because live and let live is the song in my life. 9.95. Now. Can I go over to Dubai? I can't wait. Now listen, Kirsty is training to be my uh, producer. Now you can believe, Kirsty's got a certain accent, haven't you, Kirsty? Really, Brumai? Really? She does this, really? She's more Brummy than Scott, but not black country like Kim. Can you just say wire to me? Oh, you say that normally. You say it, black country, Scott, wire. Scott always <laughs> goes, them ones. Them ones, that's his little saying. Oh, Amelia, are you trying to kill me? There's something, there's booby traps, Debbie Bolford, booby traps. Now, anyway, my darling Debbie Bolford. Uh, Scott, tell me again, give me a stock update, darling. Quarter of the stock remains. Eek. Another sellout by the looks. Gosh. Well, it is a popular medium. Are you going to give it us is. another fabulous demonstration? I don't know. I wasn't You're not tiling the kitchen, are you? No, 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 no. no. Go on, yeah, let's, let's, let's see let's it. Let's see it in action. Let's let's I can't I can bear do. this draft in here. You, I feel like I must. No, honestly, you. I'm, I much prefer to be. I like know this you're saying that, hot. but I'm not sure whether it's going to have the no, right honestly, effect on honestly, you. Honestly, honestly, I mean it. Honestly, honestly. Okay. Just looking for some clay. Okay. <clears throat> right. One thing you can do with polymer clay, if you have a necklace, looking at that purple clay that we had earlier, mm -hmm. I'm just warming up the clay. Can I um, help you in any way? No, it's okay. This has got some other colours in, actually, so it might come out. I'm surprised there's any warmth in you. It's so cold <coughs> over here. No. I've got plenty, don't worry. Okay. Whoops. Now, I'm going to put this into my extruder. And I'm going to change the dyes. When you get your extruder, you will have a little pot of cutters. Little pot is at the bottom of the, the package. And you obviously... That's it. And you can obviously choose whichever one you wish to use. It's really, do you know what? I'm so glad they put the pot in there. Well, uh, you don't because get it you with need any other. it. Otherwise, you're just going to lose them. Yeah, yeah, I don't know any other make that does that. It no is, one it's else a, does it. little things in life it that is, just actually. make things so much easier. It just makes them so, mm -hmm. so good to keep in your craft yeah. bag. Right, I'm going to choose a circle, right? You've like done that so. in a little ball rather than pat it in. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter how. Fixing. Okay. So I've chosen a little round cutter. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. So just a plain round. Plain round. I'm going to move those to one side. Okie dokes. I just need to find one more thing, like a cocktail stick or something. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love your little pot with your cocktail sticks in. It's all pretty. Do you put your herbs in pots like this at home? Well, they all got nice that's things what herbs, on. That was in there before. Yeah. Herbs. So mm. I'm going to turn the extruder. Eek, eek. There's a little mouse. <laughs> could you write names? I'm just thinking with that. Yes, you can if you want. You to. could write Noel. Yes, you can. And bake it. Yeah, I think um, Hannah did some names like that, didn't she? Oh. Now, if you've got your wonderful gizmo at home and you've got your metal um, mandrels, this is ideal. You can't gizmo and polymer clay. You can. This is on, some of this is on the DVD. Can you but really? Just to tell you, but you can obviously if you had a long. Spindle. I can't believe it's not breaking. No, 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 not if you conditioned it properly. If you've got your gizmo mandrels, you can obviously do a long gizmo coil. If you had it on a piece of wire, you could curve it then and use it as your, your necklace. C can I just oh, ask you something? You yeah. Is, is, is a cocktail stick not sort of sticking to that? Though? Yes, it would do. That's why I say if you've got your mandrels, I would, I would prefer you to use your mandrel. How do I prevent it sticking if I've got only got cocktail sticks? Right, I would have put some um, relief on it. You know this lovely stuff that's in the silver oh, clay? I love, you know or me even, in that. Yes, or even Vaseline or something like that. Okay. Or some petroleum jelly just, petroleum just jelly, to put yeah. on there. Or some olive oil even. And that won't and, do and anything to the baking of the... No, 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 okay. not at all. It would just mean you can get this out okay. easier. But that's what you can do. You can make your own coils with your um, with your gizmo because these are lovely smooth rounds, and you can cut them to the length that you want, or feed them onto memory wire and make some really funky memory wire bracelets and lots Love of different it. colours, or your uh, memory wire necklaces, or just some ordinary wire necklaces. So it's something else you can do. Don't just think that I've just got to extrude and use as hair or you know or beads or something. No, I, I'm not actually. I think um, my thing is I like when I do it in a sausage and I can slice it 
into little flowers and stuff. That's the, yeah. my favourite thing to and do. You can also them. make, if I just quickly do this, if you, like you can make... Like a woolly ball. Yes, you can make a bead out of just, you know, all the bits. I know we do it with oh, wire, don't we? Them. That would look nice with the sari silks, wouldn't it? It would. And then if you just put some mica powder on or some gleam or something once it's baked, um, and then you can make your own sort of... See that little... If I want to put a hole in there, do I run the cocktail stick through there yes, or something can. like, or one yeah. of the rods actually, or the rods your baking, baking tray. tray? Yes, yes, you can, and then bake them. Just something really, really simple. Okay. Absolutely fantastic. Is that all right? It's more than all right. It's brilliant. Now, if you've got any questions for Debbie, don't forget, of course, do text us in or ask us on Facebook or Twitter. Right now, we're going to go across and have a look at your wonderful designs on the wall of fame. You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Isn't that pretty? I need that. I need it in my life. Isn't it lovely? Oh, gorgeous. All of it. Oh, wow. Ooh. They're all lovely. Mm. I think we ought to show people, don't you? <laughs> 484, this is wonderful. It's from Doris McLeod. I love that surname. Uh, from Great Yarmouth. Lucky Doris. And she says, Hi, I would like to enter this set to go on the Wall of Fame if that's possible. Of course it is. Uh, made with orange and grey shell rounds and a single tiger's eye. Findings are the antique bronze findings from JM. I would just like to thank all the guest demonstrators for their inspiration. Love from Doris. Doris, gorgeous autumnal colours there. Really, really Halloween y, actually, aren't they? Yeah, they are actually. Love that. Lovely. Love the charm brace. It's beautiful. And the earrings are, are stunning. Lovely. Just nice, long, simple earrings. This have is number uh, 483. I need, I need to have that. Well, it's the way it's been photographed mm. as well. How lovely to do it like that. This is from Nicola in Huddersfield. It says, hello, I thought I would send you my latest entry to the Wall of Fame. The necklace is made with sterling silver chain and pearls. I hope you uh, enjoy it. Love the show. Please keep bringing us lots of lovely gems and inspiration from Nicola in Huddersfield. Nicola, mm, that wonderful. is beautiful. It is, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Be very proud of that. It's lovely. Look at this, like an autumnal oh. leaf. Isn't oh, that? Oh, so gorgeous. I just... It's like a yeah. sunset, isn't it? Yeah, it, do you know, it really is. Beautiful. If you, you know, like paintings, like mm. an autumn countryside scene. That's what that reminds me it's of. Lovely. Very artistic, isn't it, during it is. making sometimes? very artistic. Now, Lisa Moon from Nottinghamshire is very arty. And she says, Hi to all at JM. This week's entry to the Wall of Fame is a pendant made from antique bronze wire from JM and jasper beads from my stash. The wire is absolutely wonderful to work with, much better than the other wire I have in my stash. Uh, best of luck to all the other Wall of Fame entrants. Uh, Lisa Moon. Lisa, gorgeous. Well done. Absolutely beautiful. Check this out. This is number 481. Isn't this fabulous? Is it a bangle or a ring? Well, it's a, a bangle. It's wonderful. From Wendy in South Wales. It says, hi to oh. all at JM Towers. Here's my Wall of Fame entry. I was so inspired by the wonderful Karen Crawford's Bollywood necklace. But as I prefer bracelets, I made this variation on the theme for angle. Um, it, made, it really tested my wire work ability, but now I know I can push myself with my own designs. Thanks, Karen, from Wendy in South Wales. That is beautiful. Do you know, it's very Roman. It is, actually, yes. Yeah, two I different colours are lovely. I love spot. it. Mm, very nice. I think it's gorgeous. Very nice. Very nice indeed. That's pretty. Oh. I love the squirrel so much that I just I need that squirrel. It's the one that's looking up. Have a look at the. Uh, of course, the jewellery is divine and heavenly. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love why. 480 is from someone with a brilliant name. Her name's Jen. Oh, gosh. That's unusual. Like I said, I think, I think I've, I've read some bits of Jen's out, and you never meet a normal Jen. Really? Sorry, I'm Jen. still yet to find a normal. You know, we all, all got a little bit of scattiness. And Jen says, uh, here's my latest entry to the Wall of Fame. Days is made from fluorite chips and different coloured wire. 0.6, all from JM. What are they up to now? Uh, she's actually, see, she's completely balmy, just like me. She's actually written a little caption that the, um, that the squirrels are saying. So do pan in, and she says, what are they up to now? Nutkin, what's up with the weather? Here we are trying to collect food for the winter, like we always do. And now uh, dairies are growing. 
Diaries. Diaries. Like diaries? diaries? Well, it I could be know. daisies. Uh, and Terry says, like the humans say, what is going on in nature's season? What shall we do? Love, Jen. See, we're all balmy. We're all completely pots. I love it. Well done, Jen. Oh, Absolutely. Gorgeous, gorgeous jewellery uh, from Jennifer Lane there. Now, we are going to go to that gorgeous floor right very oh, soon. We're going, to, we're going to do live trot. Oh, no, we're going to walk because you're ill. You can't trot. Come on. <laughs> Come Aren't on, we? we'll get you back Mind into work tree. slowly. Mind I will, because a minute ago I just walked straight into it, yes. didn't I? To mind the tree. We'll just walk like this, right. Debbie. Like penguins. <laughs> I'll drop you off here. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Come on, drop on, drop on, drop on. <laughs> Kaz, I'm glad you didn't fall backwards then, because I do forget <coughs> sometimes that you're walking backwards with a great big camera, and you're only a slight girl. Now, let's do. Should we have a brand new kit? Let's do that. <laughs> Second kit, aren't we? Good grief, Penfold. But Jigger is. Look, I find this strand extremely, extremely vintage. Have a look at what I got for you. Mm, I love that colour. I absolutely love that colour. Now, I'm also going to give to you. Isn't this vintage already? Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. You've got your black and onyx rounds. They're full mill. They're so sparkly. You have got beautiful blue opal. It's so vintage. And you've got that beautiful primrose yellow there in your yellow crazy lace agate. I'm going to give to you silver findings, 98 silver findings with this kit. You've got a metre of chain, you've got the ribbon ends with the extra extender cord, you've got all your beading materials as well, everything you need, three pairs of shepherd's hooks. You've got absolutely everything here, loads and loads and loads. Now the gemstones are very, very vintage and actually what you'll notice is every single one brings something different to the table. I think I'd definitely keep these two together. What's nice about this kit is you've got, probably got two or three different looks. That I think that's like a daytime, pretty elegant and then here you've got your sexy nighttime, glamorous, gorgeous pieces that you can create or you could blend them together. HHG C36 is your item code. Now those shell pearl are powder puff blue. I love that sort of powdery finish that you get to them. Silky finish, aren't they? They are like silk, aren't they? You've also got, now I'm just looking for the dimensions actually of those. There they are, four mil. They'd be perfect for soutache, wouldn't they? And your sparkly ones too. Now, you've got opal here, which we know as the birth gemstone along with tourmaline for October. Opal's got a lot of myth and legend behind it towards luck. And if you, if you, do, if you do love your opal, this is the perfect one for you. Now, a lot of you love this kit, so be quick. We've already had lots of allocations on the website. HHGC36 is your item code. Don't forget your 98 findings. Four gorgeous strands. And if you've got an open basket already today, pop this one in. You're getting all of this with opal, don't forget. With yellow crazy lace agate, don't forget. Black onyx, don't forget. And you have got your blue shell pearls. You wait till you see what Deb has made. All of this for just £21.95. You would be paying <coughs> £46. Of course, the opal is an expensive, more expensive strand than any other. Not if you're comparing the rest of the world's opal strands, obviously. Jewelry maker price. 0800 6 4 6 5 is a free phone number. I know there are queues forming. We've already had 15% of this kit has already been allocated. We're so busy this morning. It's Friday. We've all got that Friday feeling. There's nothing better than having a good bit of retail therapy, is there? Come shopping with us. You don't even have to leave the house. You don't even have to queue. Because there's nothing worse, is there, when you go, yeah, I've got loads of bargains. And then you go, you're near the till. And then you see the most ridiculous queue and you just think forget it you know what Debbie I love 
what you've made here. I've eyed this up earlier and I actually think the colours go gloriously together. My favourite is the tassel. You know me in tassels. The signature I tassel. Love I love yeah. this kit. What do you think when you unearthed it? I love it. I love the delicate shades in here. Um, I think it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love what you've done here. Sorry, Kaz, I just straight over there with my big wrist. <laughs> What's this under here I've that you've done? I've just done like a little rosary flower with, um, with the jump rings, just to give a long tussle. I love that. If you turn, if I you thought you had a finding that I didn't know about, no, you, you know. You pick it up and point it at the camera, you see what I mean? It's like a little flower. Oh. <clears throat> That's so sweet. You've got the drop earrings here. Love the tassel. Love the tassel. Then you've got the earrings with the halo at the bottom. Really pretty bracelet. You've got the ladder weave, is it, at the bottom of this yes, necklace? Yes, just change the amount of beads I put on just to make it look a bit different. And the same with the bracelet. I love the fact you've got some that are really ultra shiny and others that are matte. And I, I love that because the one shows off the other. I think they're beautiful, beautiful colours. I, I do like this kit. I, I like this really like this kit. because, I, And I agree, I love these little shell pearl. But yeah. it's the primrose yellow. You don't get a lot of yellows like this. You do don't, you? See, I, could, I could see that with a pair of jeans. If it's got that denim sort of blue, uh, grey blue. I could see that with a pair of jeans or a really, a really pretty dress. It can be with either. I agree with you. I love that. Mm, it's really White pretty. shirt. Bit of this yeah, just, just yeah. lovely. Mm. Sandy colour, because all the sandy colours are in because of all the animal prints that are still coming through. Um, so a lot of sandy, sandy colours and a lot yeah. of um, lemons still in the shop as well. So these really go well. Perfectly. And I have got quite a few left over of every one actually. Did you get lots left over? Yeah, I did actually. Quite a few left, left over. So you're going to give us a demo? No, not with this We're one. We're not having one. Not well, having I think everybody one. knows a ladder weave and you do get that in your starter book, don't you, when mm -hmm. you first join? Yeah. Because I'm doing the polymer clay as well. We thought we'd cut one of the demos. Right, OK, fine. We'll allow that. We'll allow that. So quite so, simple techniques. Well, I think so. And actually, this is great, this kit, for both beginners and, and anyone who's more oh, intermediate. Yeah, absolutely. Because, I mean, some of the, some of the beads that you get in, in the kits, the different shapes are lovely. But this, for a beginner, you can really explore the different um, shapes you can get just with beading thread. Just, just play with the beading thread and see how many patterns you can make up. It's really good fun. It is, and it's great value at £21.95. And again, like I always say, check out baskets. Don't want anyone missing out because Absolutely. they've had items left in baskets. The uh, second extruder bundle is very popular and is extremely close to a sellout. Now, we're going to give you the DVD by itself momentarily. Right now, we're going to give you a fabulous bundle with good. Ooh, lovely yeah. pink bundle I've got. I gave you a little bit of a sneaky peek of it earlier and Scott went, don't, not yet, that's exclusive. Now, I'm going to give to you a very sneaky little bundle. Look how much stuff I've got everywhere. Oh, 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 oh. Now, you're not going to believe the price tag I'm about to give to you. You need to be on the phone lines now. Have a look at this strand. Beautiful, beautiful kunzite. They say that Marilyn Monroe had a lot of kunzite in her collection. It was discovered by George Frederick Kunz, who was the same chap that discovered Morganite. Kunzite is very, very popular at Tiffany & Co, very popular at Cartier, and very popular on our sister channel, Gems TV. <laughs> These kunzite nuggets offer us the most incredible colour. Beautiful, soft, rose petal pinks. Already a great price tag on the website at just $7.95, but as a bundle, I'm going to offer you an outstanding deal. I'd say that those were crazily priced at $7.95 in comparison. To, well, in comparison to the rest of the world's kunzite, I think it's absolute madness. Then clear quartz. Now clear quartz is a stash must have. You've got to have it because it's always going to add. It's never going to detract. It's never going to offend another color. It's always going to give you clarity, lovely, lovely luster. It's going to give you the opportunity for you to work with colored beading thread and for it to show up. Now I'm also going to give to you all of these silver balls. And you've got how many are in here? 
Literally hundreds. Oh, who counted them? You, Claire, I bet. 395. Did you really? Oh, must have taken you ages, Claire. Claire is a, a, an absolute nut for attention to detail. She needs to know exactly. That's why we love you, Clary Wary. Now, you have got, these are silver on E-coated copper. Aren't these fab? I think this is a real posy together, actually. Debbie, what would you do with these? I would like to use those old bead weaving, actually, to do some beaded threads and things. Do you bead weave without the bead loom? Yes, you do, it with it? I do. do you? Tell yeah. me, so what do you, how do you do that? Just, just with different designs. There's a lot of books out there for, for bead weavers, and I just, I just like doing my own chains but made out of tiny, tiny beads, but making my own chains, bead my own chains. How lovely. Which, um, which takes time, but the sense of achievement when you've finished it is fabulous. I've got a few but cups, those are gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. I, I like to buy them. Yeah. I like not make them, because I haven't got no. patience. <laughs> but actually, there aren't many out there, and when I see them, I always buy them, especially when they're in stretchies. Yes, oh gosh, Big, yes. thick stretchy. it must take Beautiful. ages to do. It takes a while, but nice. It is lovely, isn't it? We need to do more of that, don't we? We do. Now you've got, it's like a bouquet, isn't it? You have got 260 carats in the Kunzite nuggets. They're seven by six to 17 by 11. And your silver copper beads at three, you've got 395, 395. Are you ready for, do you know what? This is the most ridiculously low price tag. You've got Kunzite. The Kunzite can be seen at hundreds. Are you ready for a very cheeky price tag? BPGC02 is your item code. 995 is your price tag for all of this. Nine under a tenner. Doesn't happen often. Make sure you get it in your life as quickly as you can. It's wonderful to have your company today. We are very, very busy. There's a lot of you with open baskets. So when you see great prices, great bargains like this, do grab a hold of them quickly because I can't promise stock at the moment at all. We're really, really busy. My producer's just going bananas saying the phone lines are crazy. The phone lines are absolutely crazy. 9.95. You have the call centre telling you to hurry up and put the price in. Well, I know. Well, they should tell you how to produce. Now, have a look. Ring the call centre and tell them to, tell them to stop answering calls to you and to answer calls to the customers. 9.95 is your price tag with all of these silver balls. Would you um, bead weave with these little silver beads, yeah? Yes, yeah. You've got absolutely, do you know what, you could put these in micro macrame as well. Have you done micro macrame? Yes, I have. Can we see it? Because I have not seen it yet. Nobody's brought it to air yet. Have they? No. Is Mark doing it? Not with me. I don't think so. I'll bring it, I've, I've made some um, watch straps years and years ago. Did you? Yeah, but they haven't got gemstones on because at the time I wasn't using gemstones. But I can bring them in as Please, examples. Please, yeah. I'd love to see it. Okay. Maybe Mark's got one on the go now, I'm not sure. Yeah, he might do. But he didn't when I worked with him last week. We didn't have any. 9.95, BPG, C02, apps. This is very, 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 very popular. Think about creating those little bouquets with these. These would be really great for bridesmaids pieces as well, wouldn't they? Great in the hair, wonderful on hair vines. Little bit of 0.4 wire, twisted. That'd look gorgeous, wouldn't it? There's so much scope for your designs. What about a bubble bracelet with all that lovely movement? You could do that. I think mix them with other gemstones. Think about putting these with more striking colours. Silver, I'd like to see it with silver or gold. I actually think it's going to look very pretty indeed with the opal from the kit. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Look at these two together. I think they look absolutely heavenly together, those two. That, now that's a vintage piece of jewellery there, isn't it? Really, really pretty. And with, the, um, and with the yellow agate, actually, because they're all soft. In fact, 
there are lots of you on the phone lines. Can I just say, if you are experiencing engaged tones, please keep trying. We do have over 50 people on the phone lines at the moment, and we are trying to get to your call as soon as we can. If you could, uh, if you could go over to the web, I'll encourage you, uh, if you don't want to get in caught in a queue, 995 is your price tag. Limited stock now. We've only got, do you know, how many of these did we start with, Scotty? 300, do you know how many we got left? 70. 300, do you know, we're very, and, and how many, we got over 50 people on the phone lines. So you've got to be quick. Really, 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 really quick. BPG C02 is your item code. Now, where's Amelia? We need to check the um, text messages. That's what we need to do. I like a bit of interactivity. Now, can I show that floor right? Can I just, I just want to see, Scott, if that floor right goes with this Kunzite, if you don't mind. Thank you. Do you like that idea, do you? Claire went, I think it will. She suddenly talks like that now. Have a look. It does look gorgeous. I love that. I love that. Oh, I'm so glad I put those together because I'm going to make something from those two now. Look. Do you know, it, it, it brings a depth to that. Pinker makes it a little bit more wintry, doesn't it? It's a bit Narnia. I don't know why. Do you know, I love watching the Chronicles of Narnia in the winter time, do you? The borrowers, things like that. It's funny, our TV gets much better in the winter. Well, I suppose we're all indoors, aren't we? Now, anyway, anyway, it's not about the borrowers. <laughs> Other TV programs are available. Scotty, let me do, if you don't mind, these tools. Because you have got chain nose pliers I've got here, which are more rounded and smaller. So you've got your chain nose. What's snipe nose? Are they chain nose pliers? Same thing, really, yes. Same thing? Yeah. Because I know what I do with my tools, but I don't necessarily know <coughs> what they're all called, unless it's a wax y cone, which I'll never forget. Have you got a wax y cone tonight, have you? Be careful with her. Now, <coughs> I, it, never, it never fails to tickle me. I don't know why. Don't you think it sounds, it sounds very strange indeed, yes. a wax y cone? It sounds like an old wives tale. What is it? It's a coiling tool. It's not a disease. Oh, right. I know it sounds like one. <laughs> I've got wax y cone. Get a cream for that. <laughs> it's a coiling to, but it does sound it's like, laugh it's like something can't. you go to the chemist for, isn't it? And you and you sort of whisper, I've got one one cone. Oh, have you? All right, don't worry. <laughs> go to the doctors, we'll burn it off. Now, <laughs> I would like to meet Mr. Wang. <laughs> now, oh, it, but it does sound funny, doesn't it? Now listen, there's nothing wrong with it because I've never forgotten it. That's the point, isn't it? That is the point. Now, you have got your chain nose pliers. You've got made Debbie laugh and that's the end of it now. Oh, now she's got a wax y cone to go with her, with her flu symptoms. <laughs> So your snipe nose pliers, <coughs> you've got your round nose pliers. So your snipe nose pliers or your chain nose pliers are great for your chain mail or opening and closing jump rings, which we all have to do. Your round nose pliers will create your loops, your eye loops, which again, we all have to do. They also start off a spiral. And if you want to finish that spiral, I've got your flat nose pliers for you. I like them in this blue, you know, and actually it's about time we had them in blue, because how many, we've got so many chaps jewelry making. I love the word chaps. But I would use blue. You know, this is a good one. Pretend that, that pretend they're for your chap, and you use them as well. It's the perfect crime, girls. Tools, glorious tools. Who called them this? I know it's Kim. Hot sausage and mustard. Oh, I love that. I love that film. Now, you've got the three comfort grip. It's in, Debbie. Is it important to have them comfort grip? It is if you're doing things like chainmail because your, your hand can become quite sore if you've got pliers in your hand all day. And I happen to have arthritis in a couple of my fingers Do quite you? badly. Yeah. And, uh, and I have to use those sort of pliers when I'm doing chainmail at home. Because it's got more spring to it, because yeah. there's a bigger surface. It's, it's, for want of a more technical term, Debbie, it's less bony. 
Yes. Does that, it doesn't it dig is, in, isn't it? It doesn't dig in as much. Yeah, okay, that's what I meant, yeah. yeah. It comes further down on the palm of the hand as well. They're slightly longer. Yeah, do you know what? It's actually, so they're great, because for the chaps, they've yeah. generally got bigger hands. <coughs> yes. All three. And you know what? I want you to go and compare price tags anywhere else. Anywhere else on individual prices for tools, because I really do stand behind our value here at Jewelry Maker. You won't get an empty. That, that goes with that, obviously. $9.95 for all three. I'm not supposed <coughs> to take them out of the packet, but how can I talk? How can I tell you about the comfort if I don't really know? You know me. I can only speak the truth, and sometimes I tell you things that are secret that I shouldn't even tell you, but I do anyway. $9.95. Like the fact that we're going to get three mil wire. Really? Not supposed to tell anyone that, All but right. I've told literally everyone. Because I'm three mil. I promise you, Gemma's been playing with it. You can go and ask her. In fact, go and get the ring she made out of three mil wire. It's on her finger now. It's amazing. Not supposed to tell you that. It is top secret. But I told you. Oh, Gemma's looking at me. Gemma, three mil wire, show me your ring. She can't hear me. She just looked at me out of pure chance. Now, honestly, we need all, so you need to get all of these in anticipation and you need that um, hammer, texturizing hammer. In fact, Gemma put on the Facebook page the other day, this is for you, Jenny, because I was talking about it. It's the most amazing ring. Did you see it? No, I didn't. That was three mil wire, hammered down. Brilliant. Oh, well, let's have a go at that. I know, because do you know how easy it is to make a ring out of that stuff? It just looks amazing. Now, can we do the floor right now? Can we? Thank you. Oh, Scott, you're cute. You're a spoiler. Oh, go on. He's one of those men who always goes, I bet, I bet Ruth's like, please, and you go, oh, all right then. Don't you? Yeah. He's a spoiler. Ruth is Scott's girlfriend who works here, and she's very gorgeous. Now, have a look. Have a look at this. And hilariously funny, actually, I've got to add. I would like to date her if I was a man, yes, thank you. Take her off your hands, Scott. You, loose in the building, free and single. Oh, imagine it. That's a cat amongst the pigeons. Have a look. If you would like to date Scott, please text us in 60777. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that wasn't an official separation. Oh, well, I'm taking that as I am now Ruth's partner and text it. it Scott went, okay, fine, that's fine. Now, Claire's protesting. Now, have a look. Claire's texting now. So is Kirsty. Look at these. Now, these for me are one of my favourite shapes at the moment. And Rachel Norris is very famous at the moment for putting these kinds of shapes right in the centre of wirework flowers. I love the way they cluster together. I, look th I just think they look absolutely wonderful. But these are great for stud earrings. If you want to make your own wirework bezel, and if you've got the Fabulous Findings DVD, you can make your own post and butterfly. I just think stud earrings are coming back in, aren't they? That I yeah. love them, because I never wear them anymore. And I'm thinking, do you know, I'm watching a lot of um, TV programs and flicking across the magazines when I get a chance, and, and, and stud earrings are back in. Well, stud earrings are back in, but they're coming back in with chandelier drop earrings. So they have the most enormous drop of chandelier earrings, but right from the earlobe. Yeah, like. They look amazing. Like Crystal Carrington. Yeah, yes. Absolutely beautiful. I always wanted to be Crystal Carrington. Did you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did. Or, or JR's wife, Swellen. I'd have liked to have been her. <laughs> I do love JR. I still fancied him, even when they bought back the second lot, which was a, there was a lot of wrongness in that, but I stood by my, I was faithful <laughs> in my fancies. Oh, JR Ewing. Imagine being Mrs. JR Ewing. That is what, it's one of those Dallas kinds of strands, though. It takes me there. You know, it's very high end looking, it's beautiful, and fluorite is, it's got that wonder about it, hasn't it? Of course, it fluoresces in, in UV light. It, it literally glows in UV and incandescent light. It's wonderful. The word fluorescent comes from fluorite. I think, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this is the nicest strand of blue fluorite I've seen. Would you agree? It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's so delicate. It's and when we put it with so that paint, Really, really it? pretty, really pretty. 
I think it's one to mix up as well, isn't it? I really do. What would you do with this, Debs? Um, to look at the cut of it. Yeah, sure, I'm going to open it up for you now. You should see it on your little screen right now. Now, I would like to wire up the top of those and put them on a cascade. What, what gauge wire would you use? Probably 0.4, nothing more than that. If I could get it through, what, 0.25 or 0.4. I think you would get a 0.4 through here. Mm. The drill hole isn't tiny, actually, because oh, I looked at that because I thought I, w I would do... Um, yeah, and probably invest in one of the reels of wire, that really sparkly silver wire. You know, those beautiful reels, and just mm. do cascades of chain and that. Just beautiful. Lovely. Look at the. Can you see the depth, though? Do you know when you look in. You know, when you look into a swimming pool. At, yes, in, I know in, what you mean. I know what you on mean. holiday. Yeah. It's that kind of. Oh, it's beautiful. It's swimming pool blue. It's gorgeous. Very oh. unusual. Very unusual. I love, I love this. Can I just count them? Because I and they're mirror graduated. I love it. Oh, can I have one of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, thirty on my strand exactly. They'll be there or thereabouts on your strand as well. Not a pound per <laughs> bead, which would be good if you were shopping elsewhere. I'm going to give the. This is really wonderfully price tagged. Absolutely fabulous value. They're only eleven ninety. They're only eleven ninety five. You have to have this strand. Eleven ninety five. C A G K eighty four. Ninety carats. They're six to nine millimeters on a twenty eight centimeter strand. I love this blue. I love this depth, and it really does remind me of you know when you see your friends been on a fabulous honeymoon or something in the pool and the palm trees and everything. It was amazing. It's that kind of blue, isn't it? Unbelievably gorgeous. Eleven nine. I just can't believe that. Looks like this strand's going to sell out. Actually, one hundred have gone and sold out. We only how many? We didn't have that many to start with, did we? We've only got fifty left. So you've got to be really quick. Oh gosh. Do you know what? I'm I'm so sorry to anyone that's watching the repeat show today. So much is selling out. I'm so sorry if you're if you're because. Uh, we try very, very much to have a lot of, of stock. For, I'm just saying this is going to sell out. Gems have just it's gone limited. It's gone limited. You've got to be quick. 11.95. I will keep you posted on that one. Try if you're watching a repeat. I can't. I can't guarantee it. Make sure you're quick. Unallocated baskets. We're seeing lots of un unchecked out baskets. You need to check them out. We should have this. Wheel, wheel that goes off when you're on your computer. So there's nothing worse, is there? I do this when I'm dress shopping online because who gets, who gets time to go actual shopping? Not me. Now. Scott said, right, I can't take it anymore. Do you know how many text messages I've had about this extruder DVD on its own? All right, all right, Scott, all right, all right. He wants, he wants text messages of adoration, not, not, um, not you going, come on, Scott. Can we have a little look at some of Debbie's jewellery from this wonderful DVD? 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 What's a DVD? It's a Debbie DVD from the Balfour Collection. <laughs> Coming to a screen near you. I wish I could do that voice. That was rubbish. Now, Debbie, the extruder has helped you do all of these. Do you know what? You look at this kind of jewellery and you think, no way I can actually do this. People think that this is a print, but it isn't. No. It's pure polymer clay. No, it is. It is, it is indeed. Isn't yeah. that wonderful? Oh, there's that technique you showed us earlier with the, the gizmo coil. Yes, that was done very quickly, I think, on the deep. It's not particularly brilliant, is it? But anyway, oh, yes, I think it, it does, brilliant. does show... What are you talking about? It's brilliant. It does show how, how you can use it in <gasps> different ways. The standard that you withhold, Debbie, is right up there your jewelry is wonderful and that's why You're we buy sweet. the dvds thank you you're amazing i want to watch this now well sometimes i think it's nice to use the extruder but not have the piece you're making have the focal point made by the extruder it can be in the background a lot of the polymer clay you can use just as spaces and just to, to make your gemstones go further make them make not set professional. you know yeah i'm a professional yes um, I use a lot of the spacer beads at the back of the neck on a necklace so it doesn't give the weight. But on there you'll find some good tips of how to use the extruder and, and what to do with it. 
We all know it's four pounds and ninety-five pence. Uh, you already. 62 to be exactly precise have gone and sold out uh, 0800 6 4 6 5 uh, all the w's.com yes you get a 30 day money back guarantee but you do need to act fast uh, these dvds are great christmas presents oh yeah put that together with the extruder and a few blocks of clay and have happy quiet hours do you know what happy <laughs> quiet hours making all your christmas decorations these are great for paper craft as well you know when you do the 3d yep. effects on your card craft yes. um if you that's why i like slicing these because these do look great we're quite they a crafty do. family lately you know uh, four pounds and 95 pence do you get competitive with your crafts if you do it in your, um with your best friend and your family i'm like look what i did like rats i'm gonna have to up my standard that's kind <laughs> of happening in our household oh. 4.95 is your price tag and then, of course, uh, having young children now, Max is volunteering all my things to all of his friends that are girls because he's started charming ladies now. Doesn't want them as girlfriends yet, though. He thinks the idea is revolting still. 4 95 I think maybe I've put him off. Mother, <laughs> if they turn into crazy women like you, I'm not interested. Bless his little heart. Four pounds and ninety-five pence. WTT Y zero one is your item code. Under a fiver, already a hundred and how many? Hundred and fifty something says Scott, but it's going doing 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 as it goes. So it can't be massively precise at the moment. Uh, there is a few a few on the cone line. I was going to say. <laughs> there's a few on the cone line. No, there's not. There's a queue on the phone line. What's wrong with me today? Honestly, 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 it's from being kicked in the face and punched in the face by my son in my in his sleep last night because I let him sleep in my bed, which is quite a large <coughs> bed, but he seems to always come towards my side. Like, oh, I do love it though, because one day he won't ever want to do that again. Pretty soon, in fact, he'll probably find it extremely embarrassing that I'm. Ex I mean, can you imagine, Scott? It's not right. What time do you? When do you stop hugging your mum? Do you still hug your mum, Scott? I still oh, hug my boys. Yeah, good, because there's no way I could do oh, yeah. a boy hug. Can't live oh, without yeah. that. They're so cuddly and they actually do love you. Yeah. Like, girls hate you. But, I mean, Mia looks at me like, I'm, she loves me, really. But really, to, <coughs> really, she looks at me like, you are the most ridiculous woman I've ever met in my life. But the boy, he actually genuinely loves me. And yesterday he went, I love you. You're the best mummy in the world. I love that. Isn't it cute? And then we had a little session in the car on the way home where he was Professor Green and I was the girl that sang Remedy. And it was funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the boy gets me, 4 <laughs> Jewelry Maker does not, does not condone uh, Professor Green in anyone's cars. Now, uh, we're going to be keep refreshing you on this. Uh, Debbie, talk to me, where's your next workshop, by the way? Because we've got one bustling on uh, there. Uh, in a quirk. couple of weeks' time, I shall get my diary out in a minute and I'll tell you. Oh, yes, if you could. What is it exactly on? Uh, well, I tend to do sort of two or three a month. So it's usually chain mail, a basics and a design of polymer clay. I shall find out for you. I shall find out and get back to you. We're going to find out for you. D uh, actually, Claire's on it now. Where's Kirsty gone? She's skiving. <coughs> Oh, she's skiving. She's gone somewhere. She apparently she knows how to be a producer now, so she's gone. Oh, right. so now <laughs> she'll be watching upstairs. I guarantee she bangs on that window and goes. She's got to control me. Good luck with that, Kirsto. Right, right now we're going to show you some information on polymer clay. Actually, we're going to go to the Wall of Fame first. We're going to go. Yeah, we're not. We're going to show you some information on the uh, on polymer clay, and then we'll be back. Loads more to come after this. <laughs> From the 1st of November, we will be live for 12 hours a day. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. New to Polymer Clay? Then why not come and join guest designer Debbie Volford and be introduced to this creative medium? Debbie will guide you through the basic techniques of creating bead shapes, canes, pendants, feature beads and much more. The full course includes black and white clay, a colour clay pack of your choice, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios and a visit to the Gemstone Museum and our shop. And all this for just $64.95. For more information contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you.
Buying jewellery online from us has just become even easier with our new streamlined checkout service. We've made some little changes to make our website more accessible for all of the different ways you shop online, and now it's even easier using a mobile phone or tablet. Once you have added your items to your shopping basket, you can decide to check out now or save for later. Saving an item for later means you can easily find them in your own time, but don't forget to check back soon as all our items are selling fast. One of just a few changes that will make buying jewellery from us even easier. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Tune in to The Late Show this Friday for our Miss It, Miss Out special, where every customer that checks out between 5 and 9pm will be entered into a prize draw where you could win a place on a workshop of your choice. Don't miss it or you'll miss out. Right? Is that tonight? Claire, tonight? Scott? It's like Willy Wonka land. So tonight, when you check out your basket, how many people is this? One or two people can do this. We're going to pick two people. Everyone's in a draw. Two people for a space on a workshop of your choice. And you're allowed to have the food and everything. You have to. This is unbelievable. If you check out a basket between five and nine, has it got to be online or can it be on the phone lines as well? Both, both. Has to be between five and nine. I'm just being told if you work in the building, you are not eligible. Debbie Bulford, we can now not get so excited, but oh, you're well. excited. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is amazing. Ruth Lynette tonight is Foxy, everyone. Now, whew, I'm excited. Today is an exciting day, by the way, everybody. Let's get jewelry making, jewelry making. I wanna get jewelry making. <laughs> Let me see your beady beads. <laughs> I can't keep going. <laughs> Let me see your wax white cone, Claire. I don't want to see that, thanks. Oh, I can't, why is this being so, like, it's clinging on to me? Get off. Now, oh, look, my favourite colours together. What is it about, what's wrong with me today? I don't know. What is wrong with Jenny? I know, I know what's wrong with me. I haven't had any sleep because of my boy. No, not really. I just think, um, I don't know, I've gone mad. Now I know what's wrong with me, I'm excited because I'm going to pick my Clarkie up from the, from the airport and it means I'm going to have petrol in my car again when he returns and not run out anymore. Now have a look at this. That means I actually like someone. Oh, who'd have thought? Now, have a look. <laughs> Hang on a minute, I like someone. Now, I, I haven't been pretending to myself, it actually was true. Have a look. <laughs> do you think oh, there should be a stop button don't tell everyone that we're your personal business jelly clearing now <laughs> scott's saying he wish he has a cut button like he does on his talk back where he can just stop listening to me actually just have me going she's saying something that she shouldn't be telling everyone yet again now debbie i wish you hadn't told me that secret just now because i want to tell everyone the best thing for you to do is never tell me secrets. But right, basically, then. me and Debbie have got something absolutely amazing. It is going to happen, because I'm going to make that happen. That's the best idea Debbie's ever had. Alyssa, anyone's ever had. Oxbury's not going to have a choice. She knows that sometimes, when Jenny Cleary says it's happening, it's happening. Now, have a look. You've got the gold and the silver beading thread. You've got all this incredible elastic. You have got your toolkit as well. And you've got your beading basics DVD. It's called Let's Get Jewelry Making. Jewelry Making. Now, Debbie, 
Yes, Jenny. Even if I'm not. Oh, hang on. I've got loads of findings and gemstones as well. I thought for the price, there's no way. Are you? I thought that was a separate bundle. <gasps> you've got. Hang on, I will ask you that question again in a minute, Debbie. You see, you've got the DVD, you've got the... What, are you serious? But the toolkit on its own is 9 95 Well, this is crazy. I'm also going to give you one, two, three, four strands. Are you mad? And, and 98 findings. Now, Debbie, even if I'm not a brand spanking new jewellery maker, these are all things I want. I mean, if I've, I've already got the DVD, if I have, and give it to a friend. Well, exactly. And you can split bundles like this up into different Christmas boxes, can't you? Absolutely. Or if you're doing a Christmas fair, put it in as a, as a prize. If you, if you buy one or two bundles and you think, well, actually, I've got a few more of those and I don't really need those. And the spare ones, if you're doing Christmas fair, you can put them into a Christmas hamper or something. Do make and takes. You can do... Yeah. Um, you, what I like the idea, somebody said to me, is um, kids coming to your stall and making something for Mummy for Christmas Day. Because Absolutely. obviously Mummy buys the, buys the Christmas presents, yeah, it's very really, good. or Daddy. This is a nice one to actually go, you know what, Mummy go off for a bit and you can sit and do make and takes. Obviously, if you're going to do that, you've got to be CRB checked and all of that kind of thing. But it is a nice, or if you're doing Just school fates and you're a mum that does stuff at school fates, Absolutely, or you do, that. you know, brownies, girl guides, mm. or whatever, and you do, I mean, fantastic. I think it's a lovely idea. We used, at, at Max's school, you give them two pounds and they go in and there's a mummy <coughs> and daddy stool so they can get the oh, Christmas lovely. presents. And the parents organise it. And, and I think that's lovely. Now, this would be a great one. If you are on the PTA or anything like that, how lovely for actually say this time the kids come in and they get their gemstones they get their stretches and they make mummy something or you know or whoever or auntie or whatever you know i just think it's such a lovely idea that the value that you're getting here again is absolutely utterly outstanding ridiculous i didn't know that you got scott told me the price off of the bundle but i didn't realize you were getting the gemstones and the findings but you are you're getting the beading basics dvd 50 meters of gold beading thread what have i done with it there it is clary wary you've got stacks you've got your stainless steel beading thread 60 meters of multicolored elastic you get 10 spools what's you've got 600 meters of elastic here You've got your green and red agate rounds at 14 mil, your purple banded agate at 8 mil, natural agate rounds at 8 mil, fancy agate rounds at 4 mil, 98 antique bronze, uh, and you've got your 98 antique bronze findings and your toolkit. Your toolkit has your snipe nose pliers, your round nose pliers, your nippers, your snippers, your, um, your tweezers, your scoop, your reamer, everything, everything that you need, all for just twenty one ninety five. You're buying a kit and you've got this as well. It will go on and on and on and on. What a great gift! And don't forget, if this is a gift for your friend that you want to drag into jewellery making, wouldn't it be lovely to jewellery make with your mum? You know, actually sit there and have a time with your mum where you get jewellery making, do something together. It's nice and over a cup of tea oh, yeah. and a bit of a gossip. Put your favourite soap on. Put something on the telly, jewellery maker preferably. £21.95 is your price tag. Do you know what? I'm even going to admit this to you. Yesterday, I told you I was doing a lot of housework and ironing. I was thinking, what's on the telly in the daytime? Because I never watch the telly in the daytime because I'm always very busy. Nothing apart from jewellery maker. It's all a load of rubbish. Well, that's my opinion, obviously. I do like Holly Willabooby, though. I like her, but that's not until a little bit later. So it's, it's jewelry maker or nothing for me first thing in the morning. I don't want to know who, the DNA results of whatever. I'm not interested. 21.95, a great deal. An absolutely wonderful deal. CIG C48 is your item code. Wonderful. Well done to everybody. If you've got an open basket, it's just one PMP you pay all day <coughs> long. Now, are you all right over there, my darling? I'm sorry, I keep coughing. No, you're not. Don't be sorry. You can't help it. Somebody look after. Get, go and get Debbie a lem sip, Amelia, darling, or a <laughs> cup of tea. I'm fine. And a cuddle and stuff like that, you know. Not chocolate, she's poorly. She needs a Barocca. Other, other drinks that have got vitamins in them are available, such as Haliborin or Sinatogen. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> are you on those vitamin drinks? You should be. Yes, I am. Good I am, girl. Um, yes, honestly. Well done. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> Sorry, I am. Yeah, you should be. I know, I know you don't know that I'm actually quite um, 
I'm quite mumsy. It's lovely. But I, actually, I think you probably think I'm not because I'm quite scatty, but I am very. No. Because you can be both, you know. You can. <laughs> now. <laughs> Everywhere I turn, there's a spike. Well, then what is going on? Oh, my gosh. Debbie, did you do these? Those are from last year, I think. <gasps> Look, we haven't even acknowledged the tree of polymer. I love this tree. And again, it reminds me of Narnia. Like, this is where Lucy met Mr Tomnus by the tree. I'm trying to turn it so you can see Santa. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. How did you blush? What is that with? Um, let's have a look. Oh, just, just with some crayon, I think. Really? Yeah, yeah, just, or chalk or something. Aren't you wonderful? And Santa with his actual body. <laughs> oh dear. I didn't make that one. I think Eleanor made that, I think. What, are Eleanor? Yeah, I think so. L upstairs, L. I think so. Yes. L can't do that, can she? She's very good at clay. Is she? Yeah. I love that girl. She makes me laugh so much. Now. Oh, Robin! I've dropped the Robin. We'll get him in a minute. Now. What is it? Is it twelve o'clock already? Are you serious? Good grief! Now, which one is this? Is it the? Oh, fifteen. Why did I think you said three? That doesn't sound anything like three, does it? Fifteen? No. Not so much, no. I don't know what's wrong with me, I really don't. No. I look like an old lady, thanks. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> he said I sounded like an old lady, so I said I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, crikey, did I? Well, I am an old lady compared to you, you youngster. Come and have a look. I could teach you a few things. Um, that sounded a bit wrong, didn't it? Now, have a look. Kyanite is so beautiful because it's all pearly and lovely. Do you know what this is going to go with? Oh, my lorks. Perfect combination. Oh, I feel like a mermaid now. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Debbie, isn't that lovely? Kyanite, what Love do you that. make of kyanite, Debbie? Oh, it's just so beautiful. It's so delicate and there's nothing else like it, is it? Oh, that's pretty. I do love mm. that, that kunzite because it is so, it's a certain mm. shade of pink, isn't it, that yeah. you just don't get? I'm trying to think of where I've seen that shade of pink, but I can't because it's just kunzite yeah. pink. Isn't this a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful bundle? Now, I love the texture from the chips, and if you've got the Chip and Nugget DVD, you're already going to throw some pearls in there, give it a twist, and, uh, and there's a gorgeous necklace or a bracelet. The two together combined are, are wonderful, and actually, um, talking to Debbie about those big chandelier earrings that are start from the, um, from the stud, that, that, this would be a great bundle for that. Yes, it would. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really lovely. And you'll see that a lot of the jewellery is big, bold, statements of um, clusters of gemstones and then loads of chain. Beautiful. I want a pair Beautiful. of those earrings that you're describing. I've decided I don't have enough jewelry. Really? I don't understand Just decided, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, probably because Alice is stealing it all off me. You've got a pesky tenant. Have a look. She's my friend, she's come to stay with us. Now, look at that pearlescent luster. Actually, kunz, kunzite and kyanite are both normally our higher priced gemstones, would you say, Debbie? Yes, definitely. Well, today the kunzite went at a crazy price tag, so mm. we're going to follow suit with the kyanite. Uh, this is one of Carol's favourites. We were all in a meeting and, uh, and Paula said to us, what do you want to see more of? And Carol went, kyanite, 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 I love kyanite. I remember that. Do you remember in the meeting? Now. Carol is a huge fan, and I can see why, I just love it. It's the only gemstone, apart from a pearl, obviously, it gives you pearlescence uh, and mother of pearl, you know, actual gemstones of the sea. It, 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 it is wonderful. Look, it, it almost looks like the silver glint on the top of the water when it ripples. Mm. You know, it's quite poetic looking, this it gemstone. Is. It's gorgeous. And I do, I do love a bit of poetry. I do. Not maths, because that scares me, but poetry I like. Now, get yourself on the phone lines for these because they would be 21.95 21 21 
21 would be 21.95 unbelievable price reduction are you ready for the price drop should be 21.95 but today boom straight down to 12 pounds and 95 pence i like these deals it is a little bit like a sale scott can it be christmas every day from now on amen can we have the all of this up well i think it should be every day it's the 25th today isn't it two months to the bang yeah are we ready are we ready for it no not yet i'm not I'm going to go and order my turkey, I think. <laughs> I'm very excited. How many meats are you going to have on the day? Oh, only one. I only have turkey. Do you? Yeah. You should have a pheasant as well. I don't understand these beef. things that you have a thing inside something else. A bird and a bird and a bird. Yeah, don't well, understand that. Well, I've got to say I was with you, Bert, Bert Debbie. However, I, have, I retract that because don't knock it until you try it. That's true. It's actually something that goes back for you. Hundreds of years. Oh, no, it does. Bird, I bird, just bird. It used to be Henry VIII's favourite um, oh, right. dish of choice. Obviously, Henry VIII was a man who liked his food. We can tell that. <laughs> you know what? Um, don't knock it. Just try it. Twelve ninety-five for this bundle. Let's give you another fantastic kit. Last kit of the day, and this one is so Debbie Balfour. Did you put this kit together? No, I didn't actually, but I do love it. These are just, if, if somebody said to me, guess the uh, designer that put this kit together, I'd say it was you. Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. Is it bad luck to sing Christmas carols before Christmas? We didn't read those text messages out, you know. I think it might be, so I'm gonna stop singing them. Although pop stars, when they release a pop song, have to do that song in the summer, and they're pretty lucky people. So I'm not sure whether I'm gonna stand by that superstition. You've got, you've got to justify your superstitions. Now magpies, I saw three of them this morning. I then saw two, so good luck for a girl. Is, is what I'm, you know, I am superstitious, but... Power of magpies, yep, yeah, must believe that. Well, are you, I'm not saying you must, because each their own. I just, that's my rule. Have you started, have you started thinking, like planning your day around the magpies you've seen? Because that's the, that's the madness that's now set into my superstition. I can't do that today, Mia, because I saw one magpie. That does happen. Will you come, will you come out with me on the horse state? Not today, I saw one magpie this morning. You know, I, I am planning my day according to whether I saw a magpie or not. No, if they do hide, they do come in. So if I can't find it, that's, that was my fate, Amelia. I saw the one, yeah. that's what the magpie gave me that day. Am I going mad? Yes. Yeah, Have a look at what. <laughs> Amelia, me and you are, are both as mad as each other. I'd say this was more rustic sunset than tropical sunset. I do like this, these are quite classical. These remind me of like childhood winters, if that makes any sense to you at all. Just, I just love them. I lo I'm a real, I'm a massive fan of autumn. Do you know why? I love harvest festival. These remind me of the harvest festivals. I love Halloween. I love the leaves all over the floor. I love bonfire night. When we were children, we used to, my gran used to have, and my grandpa used to have a great big fire, and we used to put jacket potatoes under it, and we used to have a massive fireworks display, and there's uh, 15 grandchildren, so we used to have such a wonderful time, and it reminds me of that. It does, like, you know, I, I love autumn, because I think autumn and winter are such happy family times. I think in the summer, you tend to go off and do your own thing and be in the garden and rah, rah, rah with your immediate family, but in in the winter it's when you get together with everybody isn't it and I think I love that and that's what this reminds me of it's very it's very autumnal I love these tones together let me tell you what we're talking about your chocolate cultured pearls are six by five 
You've got your citrine graduated plain drops. They're four by three to eight by five on a 30 centimeter strand. Cream shell puffy <laughs> rectangles are 12 by eight. Your red jasper rounds are eight mil. 50 meters of bronze beading thread. I love it when that happens. This goes together beautifully. You've got your elastic, you've got your mono for the moment. Do you know, I love this kit. I really love this. Is this your favorite one of the day so far? Absolutely, just for me. I've got, and I'm not even, I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, you, you know, some people say, oh, you would say that, but it's the most expensive. Well, it isn't actually, it's the, it's the least expensive. I'm saying that because I've truly, uh, honestly, that's my true opinion. I absolutely love these antique bronze findings. I love all of the kits to, go, don't, to say, don't get me wrong at all, but this one, I, I, I love what autumn and winter stand for. Look at this, eye pins, head pins, extender cords, three pairs of shepherd's hooks, crimp beads, crimp bead covers, the nautical clasp, a metre of chain, your ribbon ends with the extender chain, everything you need, OXG C34, brand new in today and going at a very wonderful price tag of just £17.95 pence. Already lots of these have been allocated on the website. It really is fantastic to have you on board today. We love you. We will reach text messages out momentarily. We'll do it after we've seen Debbie's gorgeous jewellery. And that's exactly where we're going to go right now. Over to have a look at Lady DB's gorgeous, gorgeous jewellery. We're down to the last 60. We got you right. We're now gone limited with this kit. Let's go on over, Debbie. Debbie Bolford. Oh, it's so warm and lovely. I love that cross. I love it. Crosses are everywhere at the moment. Love. I've always everywhere. loved them. Isn't that fantastic? I love it. Oh, I appreciate Thank you. That. Do you know what I mean? I just need, I just think that is absolutely gorgeous. You can do that with loads of different beads, lots of different colours. Why haven't we seen this lots before? I, I love it. I love what you've done on the end there. That is very vintage, the way you've used the chain. Yes, just put some extra layers there mm. with the chain. But it's contemporary because of the mm. shape of the, because of the squares. Really pretty. And you could use that just without the beads along the bottom, actually. That would look lovely just by itself. I love that and the earrings that match are gorgeous. Oh, I love this. I'm going to try that cross on. Is it an overhead job? Yeah, it wibbly wobbly is a bit, but. Um, no, I've got oh, a no, I have actually got a huge head. Do you oh, know that? Bit. Riding hats, massive. And Mia, we, we are the, from the big head variety of humans. Now, <laughs> look, look, honestly, oh, it's all the brains. Dear. Or lack of. It's all the air. It's all the air you that's inside. Familiar. It I will lie it. flat when you you've know, actually got it on. It's my hair. I've got my hair all over the place. When you've got it on, it actually lies flat against your body. And those arms do stay. So it is a bit wibbly wobbly. A bit like a puppet. But they do stay. I love it. That's lush, isn't it? You know, I would have that a lot longer. You know, I'd have it on quite a chunky chain, have it quite long. I quite like it there, though. Yeah. On a jumper dress. Yeah. Nice. Like a cream jumper dress. Yeah. I've got this dream about a big roll neck mohair cream jumper dress. Obviously, I haven't found it yet, but I want it. It's in my head. You know, because I'm like, snuggly it. as it can be yeah. at Christmas. Gloves, nice fur, muff. Love Very it. Nice. Mm. Have you seen it? Isn't it lovely? Absolutely gorgeous. I think it's all about over the head jewellery, really, in the yeah, autumn it and is. winter, isn't it? Is. it? Absolutely. Getting chunkier. Yeah. Now, you're going to give us a demo this time, are you? I'm doing that. I'm doing the oh, cross. How, oh, good. Okay. Right. First of all, for the arms, I um, start off with two beads, they're a bit floppy there, but I think I quite like them because they move. Um, two beads on a head pin. A head pin has a little ball at the end, an eye pin has a loop at the end. So there's your two beads on your head pin, and I'm just going to hold it so the pin is sticking up. Turn it to one side. And cut that there. Sorry, okay. darling. No, it's fine. There we go. Cut approximately just about a centimetre. You'll get used to how, how long you have to cut that piece to make your loop. And then use your round nose pliers to make a loop on the top. And that's one of your arms there, with a loop on the top and two beads. Now, to put your cross together, 
you need to take an eye pin this time. This has got a little eye, it's got a little loop. Then take one arm and your second arm and another bead. And you repeat what we've just done. Try to push down as much as you can to make these arms as tight as possible. I quite like the fact that they move, so I didn't make mine too tight. But you turn, do the same as you did before, making sure the other bit doesn't fly off. Cut to the length you require, make a loop, and there's the center of your cross. Now for the, the bottom part, I've put three beads onto uh, an eye pin, a uh, head pin, sorry. I'm just going to open the one side, feed on either end of the center of your body. There we go, and make your loop. And there's part of the cross. And then I just put an extra little bead on the top with a loop either side this time. Oops. And then attach that to the chain. If I pop that down, you'll see there is your cross. And there's the one on the necklace. That's I the love same. it. I just love okay. it. So it means you can make in all sorts of different colours and designs. I like the, f the fact that they move. I like that. They're not that tight. You can get them tighter. You could almost do a coil around it. You could then wrap. What would be nice, because it wasn't in the kit, it would be nice to get some antique bronze wire and actually do a wrap around with the wire to make it quite tight. But, um, so that you've got... Yeah, do you know what? I love it. It's very, uh, it's very Catherine of Aragon, isn't it? It is. It is. I love it. I'm reading all them books. Oh, yeah, at the yeah, moment. I love it. I'm reading The Red Queen at the moment. Oh, are you? Yeah, I'm nearly at the end. I do love that kind of thing. Do you like that? No, I don't. I don't, I don't the other Belinga. Very much. The other Belinga. That's a good one. Is it? Oh, oh look it's brilliant. These. You can borrow mine. I got them all. I know it's normally all about Julie Cooper, but I've gone. I've gone somewhere else. <laughs> so here's the finished. Oh, I love it. I love it. Thank you. Now I've got a text message. Uh, is it just the one? I'm not sure how to work this thing. You see? Oh, how do I do it? Do I do that? Oh, you do it. Oh, how clever from there. Crikey, aren't they clever? Very I'm clever. I'm so bad. I don't even know how to work. We've got this Blu-ray thing, Imajig. I can't work that. No, I'm not very good at I'll either. Just give so, me a video. So I shouldn't worry. How do you know what's going on? <laughs> video. The kids don't even know what a video is. Oh, no, it's done something. Oh, see, this is... I can't be... Yeah. Button on top. I've got a little button. A button at the top. Button on the top on the Where left. Where is the top? Oh, there. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I got it, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Who said that, Ed? <coughs> okay, wait, it was supposed to, Scott went, oh, we're supposed to look so high tech with the tablet and she doesn't even know how to use it. I'm not, I'm not high tech, Scott. I literally, oh, honestly, lovely. give me a haystack any day. <laughs> now, Saima says, and she's from Rutland, hi all, please can you ask Debbie if micro powders can be used on top of Swelligan? Yes, you can. They can indeed, yes. Easily peasily? Ever so easily, yes you can. In fact I use them quite often because once you've put the patinas and the oxides on they can become quite dull. So I use the mica powders just to lift the metallic um, sheen. It looks really really nice actually. I do yes. love, you know I'm a big fan of Swelligan. I, I swelligan did the um, draw knobs at home. Oh it did you? amazing, yeah really shabby chic, I love it. Right and now but apparently by the from the power of Wi-Fi, you're going to change it, are you? Oh, it did look. Did you see that? Oh, very it, good. It is like magic, and actually, and I do think it's magic. It's just that we think about it as yeah. technology. I say it's magic. Uh, Norma from Norfolk oh, says, "Please ask Debbie after you have baked uh, clay pendant. Can you add more clay to it? And yes, rebake it. Definitely. You can you rebake can, it. You can rebake and rebake and rebake all the clay. When I do the collars, they're baked about six times. Doesn't it burn? No, 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 no. Not if you do them at the right temperature." The, the more you bake the clay, the, the actually stronger it becomes. Oh! Um, if you're going to stick unbaked clay to baked clay, then you must use the, the Sculpey liquid clay, which acts like a glue. Yeah. Otherwise, they just won't stick together. Is that available on the website, Debbie? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Apparently, by the power of Grey Skull. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, James Studio, hi, love Jenny, she makes me laugh. I'm, I'm glad I do, because that's the only talent I've got. I'm in tomorrow for a course, wow, can't wait to see you all. Oh, and my extruder doesn't make that eek, eek noise. Sally, from Eversham. You haven't got a mouse? Oh, well, I'd like to know where you get that from. 
Sally from Eve Sally is from Eversham and I used to live right by Eversham, Sally. I used to live in Wallstone and she'll know the Eversham alpacas, won't you, Sally? I don't know whether she will or not, but my friend Ginny Ginny runs the Eversham Alpacas. If you ever go along the Eversham Road, you'll know where I meet Trudy. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? No, um, that was oh no, that's yeah. not Trudy, that was it's well they changed it and I looked and don't do that to me, because I thought I was just... Go back. Thank you. I thought I just called Sally the wrong name, but no, he's no, done no, that no. thing. It's technology. Go on, then. <laughs> Trudy in Cambridgeshire from Oundle, where my sister lives. That's the lady that did the uh, Wall of Fame. Oh, right, yeah. And she says, good morning all at JM. A question for Debbie. How do you make gem art stick to the clay as bits keep coming off mine? Also, hope you feel better soon. Oh, thank you, Trudy. When you put your gem art onto your clay, yes, it, some bits will come off. Bake it, and when you get it out again, what I do with mine is I, I um, water down PVA glue half and half, paint it onto the, um, the gemstone, and actually dip that in the gem art again. When that's dry, you must varnish them. If you don't varnish them, they, A, they will be very scratchy on your skin, and B, you might have some flaking off, especially if you, you catch it on something. So I would always put a, a layer of varnish which just takes those edges off the gem art and actually sets them into a ball. That's the best way to do Good it. Good tip. Thank you. That's me doing it to Scott. <laughs> Boom. Those are all the ones we can read out for today, I'm just being right. told. Thank I you. I was quite getting into that. It was like, um, it was like grot bags then for a minute. <laughs> You know, do you remember that? I love love the interaction. Oh um, now, uh, now I won't be in tomorrow, Sally. It's who's in tomorrow? Lucy. Oh, it's lovely Lucy. How lovely is Lucy tomorrow? You'll prefer that, Sally. Anyway, uh, now we're going to go for the last time today to the wonderful water thing. <laughs> I just, oh, I need those all over my Christmas tree. Oh, lovely. Oh, I love it. Look at this. I just oh. love this. I, this is so cute. Number 485. I just ran to show Gemma this, by the way. And she went, and this is from, hi all, watched Gemma um, the other day from the Mad Hatter's, Hatter's Tea Party. It was a brilliant show and saw her felt um, a cat, so I just had to try it. And this is my version of the uh, cat key ring, it's wonderful. That's from Jeanette Walker. It doesn't say where you're from, Jeanette, uh, but I have got your phone number. I won't ring you. Now, oh, who's done that? Gemma, oh look. I love oh. felt, I heart felt. Isn't that. that lovely? Oh, that's really cute. Gemma's going, oh. she never thinks anything that she does is great. It's brilliant. Well, Gemma, oh, if you I don't like, like it, I'll have it. Get it off. She's going, get it off. No, I love it. I'm stealing it now. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? I love him. That's I beautiful. love him. Beautiful. Mm. This is number 486. This is um, from Fran. A second attempt at the wire work Doris Bird. Um, eight millimeter and six millimeter wire as I didn't have any other sizes in red with um, Iolite chip mm -hmm. eyes. I hope you like it best of all and hopefully anyone who's caught this rotten cold won't be too wrecked from it Oh, I know the feeling Fran. I'm not There's a bit a horrible worried one about standing around. next to you actually I'm Well, I've had the lie. cold now. I've had the cold. That's gone. You're not it's contagious just, anymore. Are you Debbie? Got a chest infection. Okay. Now. I've had the um Last week I had an ear infection, as, as you can imagine, coming to work with the, oh. this in my ear. Oh gosh, it was painful. But you don't want to hear about that, so I'm no, so no, sorry. No, 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 no. I don't it's not care. Who cares? Uh, now, ah, oh, I love to see these oh, pearls. I say it every time you need these little rice pearls. They're yes, so gorgeous. They're really useful. Look how yes, they, that I say that, and then I think, but they are beautiful as they well. They are beautiful. They are beautiful. Four eight seven, Karen in Doncaster. Um, where's Doncaster? Is that near you, Kaz? Is that up by you, oh, by, no. by Bolton? Yes. Yeah, is it? <laughs> I need to get, how big is up north? This place, this magical place you speak. Where is up north? <laughs> Clues in the title. I'm so bad at anything <laughs> geographical. I like everywhere is up north to me, of course. Yeah. Uh, hi all at JM. 
Here is my entry for the Wall of Fame, a necklace I made recently from pearls and a graduated strand of distinction called Pink Sigmatic Quartz. It's like, it's, it's like strawberry cracker quartz, I love it. Mm. Uh, it's very simple, but it's so beautiful. Um, and sit, Oh, sorry, it sits beautifully on the neckline. I love the unusual gemstones on offer at JM and spend far more time watching the programme than I should. Big smiley face. There's no such thing as far more time. Carol, what are you on about? Love watching Jenny yesterday. She really cheers me up with her excitable presenting style, lol. Thank you, because some people find it extremely annoying, I can tell you. Especially people that live with me or work with me. <laughs> Carol from Doncaster, number 487. Lots of love to you. And this is number 488. Ooh. This is from Sarah in Cheshire. I can see you wearing that. Mm, it's lovely, isn't mm. it? Here is this week's Wall of Fame entry. Kumahimo uh, gemstone necklace made with gems from a deluxe... D d deluxe? Deluxe bead scoop. Deluxe? Which I got in a bundle. I didn't know what to do with them at first, but then the inspiration came to me and I'm really pleased with the result. Loving the shows, they really brighten up my day and watch whenever I can. Good luck to everyone in the draw and win would be nice so I can buy lots of lovely gems without feeling guilty about spending too much. Mm. Love to all and keep up the good work from Sarah in Cheshire. Why do we feel so guilty when we buy oh, ourselves well. things? What is that about? It's when you've got kids because you yeah, think, oh God, I bet true. they need shoes or something. I've gone and bought this hair accessory. <laughs> Don't, the thing is though with this, I always think, it's guilt-free if you are selling it on as well. Oh yeah, and it's it? something you can you can cut up and make something else out of it. Or you? give it as a gift. Yeah. That's how I sort of think about. Yeah. Oh, it's not for me. It's for someone else. Yeah. Now four eight nine. Look at that colour. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't it's been that presented. gorgeous? And it's from Veronica Alcock in Liverpool. Sorry, Veronica. Uh, please find attached my entry into the Wall of Fame. These beautiful emerald nuggets mm. and frosted fasted silver beads are all from jm the silver beads um give an elegant sparkle to the emeralds i am now addicted to nuggets they are much easier to work with than i thought this is the point you've got to just you've got to really experiment with different um yeah. different shapes and sizes somebody mm. i've previously given any nuggets i get in bundles to my daughter um after i have addicted her to jm <laughs> good girl she's very disappointed she now has to buy her own Veronica, mum! Oh, mum! Yeah, I can imagine that, yes. <laughs> they are funny, us daughters, aren't we? Number 489. That is wonderful to have all of your fantastic designs. And actually, for Debbie and I, uh, for sure, it's, it's lovely to see from strand to design. Absolutely. It's so, so amazing to be with you there on your jewelry making journey. So please don't forget to send at whatever stage you're at. We want to see you right from the beginning of your journey to studio at jewelrymaker.com and we will get your designs out onto the wall of fame and you do stand a chance of winning 50 pounds oh, yeah. as a runner-up or 100 pounds oh, credited to your jam account so it's worth having a go it doesn't cost you anything to enter so go on why not have a try you never know you might get lucky now after the break i've just had a news flash a da -da 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 -da. price slash on morganite oh my coming God. up after the break we'll be right back the Jury Maker Chimper. Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jury designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jury Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jurymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Become an exclusive customer at the studio store. For more information on available courses and dates, please contact our call center. The new studio store. The experience just got better. We all know that you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have developed our very own tool set just for you. In this larger set, we have provided more tools to help you develop your jewelry making skills even further. The kit includes wire cutters, a bead reamer with replacement tips, an awl, 
tweezers with a scoop, a sliding gauge, a snip, and all the essential pliers you will need. All of this is yours for just £15.95, neatly presented in a carrying case with an embossed jewellery maker logo. Stay tuned for more advice, tutorials and demonstrations of jewellery making. We provide the tools, you provide the skill. From the 1st of November, we will be live for 12 hours a day. Enjoy shopping with Jewellery Maker. We are going to give to you, right now, a strand of Morganite. A strand so beautiful. We're going to price, I can't even believe your price stash this. Now, Morganite is a gemstone that was discovered by George Frederick Kuntz. It's a gemstone that is a collector's gemstone, and it is, in fact, from the collector's choice. Now, <coughs> this is a gemstone you will see at high price tags. Whole hours dedicated to this gemstone on our sister channel, Gems TV. The glow, that's what you'll see, the glow. How expensive does this look? The glow is incredible. The clarity is just wonderful. It's something else. Have a look at the facets. The intricate faceting is outstanding. And when you see clarity like this, it just, don't you think it adds to the perceived expense of your gemstones? Don't you think they feel much more expensive when the clarity is so much better? Well, they do, don't they? The same can be said of, of a diamond, surely, of any gemstone that's precious. It's strands like this when clustered together that just create some of the most beautiful pieces of jewellery. This is going into your high-end collection. Now, the original price of $24.95, that has always been set. Never, ever, ever have we seen this price slashed. And this is the sort of price slash deal that you would expect in the evening show. When you tune into the evening show, you get, you get crazy price slashes on last in stock pieces. Now this isn't, a, this isn't a gemstone we've had in stock for a long time. It's a very new strand. It's only been to air once before. And we're taking it down to £17.95 for you, down from £24.95. Now, this deal is just for today. If you tune in tomorrow and you want this deal to add to a basket, it will not be available from 9am onwards. DEJN65 is your item code to get 40 carats of mirror graduated faceted rondelles. The graduations range between 4x2 and 6x4 and an 18 centimetre strand. A strand of sparkle, a strand of utter elegance a strand of absolute beauty at 17 pounds and 95 pence you really and truly have got something incredible for your collection whether you keep it for you whether it's for the bride debbie delicate pieces like this delicate strands like this do you use them sparingly or do you think right i've got that commission i've got that piece i want to make for my best friend my sister where would you go with a gemstone like this um, it, it looks very, very bridal, doesn't it? It can be stunning yeah. and tiara. But I would, I would use those as a, a focal point to um, a necklace, perhaps with something that would stand in the background. You know, good old smoky quartz would work, black onyx would work, or yes, stunning, absolutely stunning. See, those two together, they don't overpower each other. Sometimes yeah. if you have a gemstone and you put something too powerful with it, it, it can just completely lose its... its Credibility. Do you know what I mean? Just adds the elegance, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly. You have to be able to not overpower anything that's in your design. Make sure they all stand out. This and is a wonderful that is strand. Beautiful. And a, what a great price tag oh. for Morganite, genuine Morganite from the Barrel family. Beautiful. Now, come on. Sorry, stop pointing at pearls. <laughs> I can't. Everybody stop a minute. 
because this is my favourite strand of pearls in the building ever. And that's a statement because literally every, every strand of pearls that comes through the building, I diva over because I love them. They are my absolute favourites. I'm in love with golden South Sea pearls. If I could own one golden South Sea pearl, uh, just one, I would, I would die a happy girl. That's a bit of a funny thing to say, but you know what I mean. Now, have a look at this strand. I would just love to be able to give pearls as heirlooms. You know, I want to pass oh, them pass down on. to my daughter. That's what I meant by that statement. Now these are, you, look how round they are. Just beautiful. I am so in love with South Sea Pearls, golden South Sea Pearls. Any golden pearl I say I have to have. Now I can't afford a thousand pounds of pearl and that's about the going rate for a golden South Sea Pearl from the golden lipped oyster. The whole thing sounds romantic, doesn't it? But I, like I always tell you about when I used to work in Chicago and the first time I saw a South Sea Pearl and I used to go out there and I used to go out there when Mia was little and I was a single mum and I used to be really, really trying hard to make my way in the world and try and make, you know, get her everything she ever wanted. And I used to remember just working my little socks off and I'd be over there and I, I, in my lunch hour once I went to, I, I used to go over there for like three days and then come home again. So I used to really work, work, work the whole time. And I, I once walked down to what's called the Water Tower in Chicago, which is a great big mall. And on the way you'll pass all the big Gucci, Ralph Lauren, you know, or the big Prada, rah, 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 you know, and there's that jewellers, you know the one I mean. And they were doing a big promotion on pearls, thousands of dollars. And do you know what I did? I went in there just so I could pretend that I was one of those women, you know? You know what it's like? I wanted to just be where they were. I wanted to look and think, you know, I, I just wanted to see. I wanted to go and look. And there was no way I was ever going to walk out of there with anything. I just wanted to go and I just looked at these women, ladies that were draped in these beautiful pearls and they smelled amazing and they looked expensive. And I thought to myself, I love, you know, I'd love to look like that. I'd love to be like that. They look expensive. They look well kept. You know, these ladies that look like they go to the hairdressers every day. Those are the sorts of women in my mind that wear pearls like this. And now when I start started working here, it actually shocked me that we could get pearls at such amazing price tags. And now that dream of owning the perfect gold, I mean, you can see there's a real, you can feel it. When you put a real pearl against your skin, it will always be a couple of degrees below whatever room temperature you're in. So you, that's the test. You can also do the bite test, but I don't recommend that. Now, real pearls, there is such a romance behind them. Let's think about who wears real pearls. You know, think about that portrait that of, of Queen Elizabeth, the Virgin Queen. Think about that. She draped herself in pearls. So royals dating back hundreds of years wearing pearls. The Queen wears pearls every day. Kate Middleton wears pearls. You know, elegance is key here. We think about Jacqueline Onassis. We think about Audrey Hepburn. I want to look like Kate Middleton. I want to look like Audrey Hepburn. You wish I looked like Kate Middleton, so do I, Scott. You know, this is, this is the epitome of elegance. A golden pearl. Look how round and expensive looking these are. When I went to Cambridge in August, I keep telling you this story and I promise you with my hand on my heart, it is true. 2,000 pounds for a pearl necklace. Were they any bigger than this? They were about the same. I'm telling you, 1995. It shocks me every day. It shocks me that we can get pearls that are so elegant, so beautiful, and I'm not taking anything away from their elegance. Every single one of these strands is gonna sell out. Look at the beauty. Look, and the key thing is here, how perfectly round they are. This is, I promise you, you know that I am an ambassador of pearls. I love them. I love them. I try and fight their cause. I love them so much. To me, diamonds and pearls, they're everywhere, aren't they? There was even Prince sang a song about diamonds and pearls. That's how precious and gorgeous they are. Now, why do we see so many pieces of jewelry with diamonds and pearls? Because don't we regard pearls almost as essential for our collections as a diamond ladies don't we regard them as elegant as a pearl for our collections 
Even if you're just going to make a pair of earrings out of these, keep the rest for yourself. Debbie, a golden pearl like this. This is, oh, I beautiful. think, an investment for your collection, certainly for me. What do you think? Yeah, I think if ever you see somebody wearing pearls like that, the bracelets and what have you, you just look at them and you think, oh, she looks really elegant. It's just something that Absolutely. tells you class. I, Don't you think? I absolutely think yeah. that I think you look at a lady mm. with pearls and you think she you do it. it's effortless you know, do you know what I mean she hasn't had to think about it it's just just natural effortless beautiful. it is it's gonna sell out this time please can I can you I want this one please can you get it for me I've already got I had did already have this when we first launched it but I need another one Claire wants it as well Claire wants it as well thank you Scott said I can have it I love Scott because he is such a gift giver I like that about a man it's a good quality, isn't it, Demi? Absolutely. Now, <laughs> I'm going to give to you the DVD with the new cutters. Oh, I'm getting it from over there. I love this, but I don't want to put this pearl strand down. Is it sold out? Two left. Two left. One for me and you, Debbie. Oh, now, good. the cutters. And we've got the extruded DVD. Brand new today, the extruded DVD, and so many of you absolutely buzzing. These two, in fact, are brand new. I love this bundle. I love the extruder because it just does so much. And it, like I said to you, it always reminds me of when I was little, I used to watch those little programs where rock's being made. You make long sausages and slice it. Do you know, we're gonna give you a ridiculous price tag. In fact, this is absolute lunacy. In fact, you need to be on the phone lines now. You need the, you, the price tag is ridiculous. Scott, there's no way I'm gonna walk into any shop in the world, I don't think, and see cutters like this for two pounds. Scott just said, I feel like telling myself off for this price tag. Slap your own wrist, please. He said, if, if Kim did this, I'd ring her and tell her off. Why are you doing it then? I don't know. Oh, Scott, you're a little monkey. Sometimes you like doing naughty things. Now, are you ready for that deal? Two pounds for the, four ninety five for the DVD and you're paying two pounds for the cutters. Now, the extruded DVD has got lots of different projects on it. Have a look at what you could be creating with the help of Debbie's DVD. And Debbie really is, I don't know if you've ever heard of her, but she's a wonderful lady. We couldn't do without her, we couldn't. Have a look at this, plaiting it. It's the suit and I love that. Oh gosh, I love that. Should we go over to, Debbie's got something exciting to launch. At this time of the day, I know, I know. We've got more exciting things for you. Can you take any more excitement of the day so far? I'm pretty excited so far already. I'm taking this with me, Scott, whether you like it or not. He said, put that down, no. I love these cutters, do you know what? You don't just have to use these for polymer clay, you can use no. these for loads of other projects as well. <gasps> cufflinks. Sparkly men's cufflinks I'm loving mm. at the moment. Mm -hmm. These are... Yes. yes. Yes, it's happening. Yes. Yes, Christmas cufflinks. Yes. We're so excited about Christmas in our house, we've already got the Christmas cupboard of candles. Oh my goodness me. I know, because you know what we're, what massive candle lovers I we know, are. I know, I know. We're we've got the Christmas scented candles, and I keep going to the cupboard just to smell it. Have a look, like the cupboard oh, when you open it, it smells gorgeous. Oh dear. Yes, mm -mm. I love all this. Look at this. This is a button. Yes. <gasps> but you could have it as a pendant if you want. This would look to. amazing on a Christmas stocking. Yeah, they would. They would. You could put them on all sorts of things. I wish too. I could knit. I'd knit the biggest Christmas stockings would ever. You? Yeah. <gasps> Oh, I love them. Do you remember knitting machines? Are they still available? I do. No, oh, I haven't seen them for ages. Do you remember that? <laughs> yes, They're an 80s thing, yeah. aren't they? And everything was really neat and tidy, yeah. like you printed it. <laughs> they printed it off of, you know, off of the 80s. Now, oh, bring them back. You've got something new for us. Are these textured seats brand new? No, they've been on oh, before. I haven't seen them. I love them. About a month or so ago, I think, we had, uh, we had some on, and we've got just a few, few now left. Now, I'm going to bring you first the ball ball in the tree. That's the right one. Is, or is that this one? Ding a ling a ling a ling ling a ling. You put some Christmas music on, please, Scott. You wish you had some? Come on. Do them, I like the Mariah Carey. What's your favourite Christmas song? Um, definitely Mariah Carey. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I love that too. And I feel like it's jolly. cheesy. I just love it. Mm. I love that song. Let's hear it now. 
Go on, Scott. And we're not allowed. It's some sort of rule. You're not allowed I to mean, do it. I mean. Now, what we're giving to you now is... Now, talk to me about the quality of these, because I know that the red ones like Natalia's, and there's a reason for that, isn't there? Because you can put them through the pasta machine with your clay. Yeah. Um, you can screw them up in a bowl. You can scrub them, use them with inks, which I have to do quite regularly, um, uh, or fill them with jewel enamel, and they're perfectly OK. Um, they're, they're deep cut. Uh, texture sheets, mm -hmm. so they're perfect for polymer clay. So you're going to give us a demonstration on how to use these. Have you got this yeah. one? Yep. So we're uh, going to launch this one first at eight ninety-five. Um, Quality is amazing, I must say. Well, that's supposed to be a bauble for the Christmas tree. Yeah, well, absolutely. Just, I, when I made it up, I thought it looked quite nice as a pendant. Oh, so you I, sneaky thing! I left that as a pendant, and then that is the tree <gasps> on just a piece of clay I've just covered in glitter. Oh gosh, I can't wait to. I, I'm just going to make every single one of our Christmas decorations this year. They're just fun, aren't I they? can see it becoming a bit better. of a, a Cleary C Clark craft yeah. off is going to yes. happen in my house. Now that is the Christmas tree off one of these others. I, I haven't got that Christmas tree printed, but you can see the depth of the of the, of the the um, design. I love the zigzaggery of it. Yes. Do you know what? Yeah. I love it. That's a slightly, that's one off here. But yes, I haven't got that wonderful. Christmas tree printed, but this one's like the depth flames. So really let's pretty, see. How do I work? Right. How do I use these? Okay. Let's well, see. I'll show you on a, on a different texture sheet because I've, I've got them ready. I didn't realize you we're were going that one to. First. No, well, that's okay because we're going to give you that texture sheet as well. Yeah. So it's fine. Santa. So what I've got here on my texture sheet, I've just picked up some um, of the blush pink uh, clay and just pushed it into one of the designs. Blush pink is, is quite red, isn't it? It actually. is actually. It's very pretty though. It's got some pearl in it. I've so, just got to tell everyone, Debbie, I'm ever so sorry oh. to, to uh, come in there like that. All of these are eight ninety five each, so we're going to we're gonna give you the random ones and while Debbie demonstrates. Okay. okay. So this one in particular has your little Santa head, which is on your um, uh, little uh, tea Candle holder, holder and what have you, and has the, the socks and the little hat, etc. But I've got a little parcel underneath here, and I've just pushed some clay into it, and then using a flexible blade, I'm just going to slice the top and leave, and leave the design still in, you probably can't see that very well, still inside the texture sheet. Okay, there, we, there go. we go, yeah. See the clay? Little present. Yeah. I'm going to take some black clay now, I'm just going to put that back down on my tile, and take some black clay and place that over the top, and this acts as like sticky tape. Oh, hey up. Really. Um, this is called a... Like my sticky bandit hand. That's right. It's going to pick it up. With <laughs> sort of, yes. This is called a Sutton Slice, invented by somebody else. Sutton assume. Slice? That Sutton sounds like slice. cake. Oh, I like it. And if you peel it off carefully, you've then got your relief design. Can oh, you see that? Yes, yes, of course. And I like the, the black against it. looks lovely. It does. It looks lovely, doesn't it? <gasps> that would be a lovely cutter. Christmas tree decoration. It will, or, or some little cufflinks what or about something. about tags? The, oh, great, yeah. on the, great on the top of a, um, of a Christmas card. Yeah. I've decided my Christmas cards this year, we're all going to wear Christmas jumpers, going to make everybody pose in front of the oh, I... thing, and I'm actually going to do that oh, Americanized <laughs> cheesy thing, because I love it. Well, I thought you could use these as gift tags. You could put a hole Perfect. through, and then write on the back in silver or gold pen, and you could make your own little gift tags, couldn't you, for your family? Because gift tags can cost quite a bit of money, can't they? I love that. You so, could keep them. You could say, I need mm. that back for when I give you your present next year. I love you it. You could do it. Or, a little or you could turn it into a... Yeah? Yes. If Fiona has made some various bits and pieces. She's been making some... Fee? Our one. Fee? Uh, Fiona Potter. I don't know Fiona Potter. Oh, she's one of the customers. I need to meet and her. To lots and lots How of lovely. my courses, and she's made some lovely things up. So she's made little wine oh, glass charms, you see? Oh, I, yes. With some glitter. Mm. So everybody's got their own wine glass, and they know exactly who Where do you put that in the wine glass, but at the bottom? Well, this is the, the ring memory glass, and you just put it around the, the stem of the glass. So when you're drinking, you put your drink down. You, you know who it is. find it. Yeah. And no one else is drinking out with Which means the, the old trick of, I'll, I'll put my empty one by mum yes. so she thinks she's finished off another glass she's like oh i can better slow down <laughs> yeah i can't do that oh, anymore dear. can i my well, mum always does that here's some of the other santas as well so you can do whatever you want to do really with these with these stamps the i big love stamp this Santa. now if you're doing a craft stall and you want to sell these i mean they're going to be a massive hit with your customers. These are pence to buy. They really are pence I'm going to, to do buy. This These tea light holders. I'm going to do this because I've got so many tea lights in the cupboard ready for mm. all Christmas scented of different variants. 
mostly mulled wine if I'm honest. I can imagine, yes, yes, yes. A lot of cinnamon spice and Very pine nice tree. Too. Pine tree I've got as well. Very Lovely. Nice too. Oh, I love the smell of Christmas. Can I show everybody your cufflinks as yes, well? Yes, you can. I think this is a really great idea. That was just fun. That was using up some scrap clay. But it's just a fun idea. And also, ladies, if they go to Christmas fairs and they wear shirts, you can always put them on. I or love it, Debbie. It's just so much. I love Christmas because it's fun. It's blinking fun. It Get is. in the spirit of it. It. It, is. it is. And don't you love that? I do. I think I everyone do. sort of comes together. Whether you believe in the the actual meaning of Christmas or whatever, it doesn't. Uh, for me, it's about family. It's and, just family. And, isn't it? and yeah, and together, fun. Is it's about fun, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I, it's got to be. It's my favourite <laughs> favourite day in the world ever. Now. We got now you can see that quite a lot of these are glittery. In yes. fact, these little fabulous cufflinks yes. are very glittery. Can you show those to everybody while I is that all I right, can. Debbie? Make you work. This is just um, glitter. It's blue clay put into um, the cufflink blanks. In fact, I think these were earring holes. Yes, these were um, earrings. No, earrings. were they? And I've just turned the back. Oh, into you're a so loop. clever. And then just put some glitter on the top. I think that's really nice. How as a funny is that? Just yeah, a it is. Very plain, very nice, glittery cufflink. Now these glitters. Talk to me about the quality. Talk okay. to me about why these are better than other glitters. These glitters are fabulous because they can turn your clay into a completely different look. Can you show you know me I, that? You know, I said earlier you can use a <gasps> sticker. Yes, yes. Well, I, I drew. I know we've got Christmas trees on the stamps, but I just drew very, very quickly. Um, a Christmas tree out of a sticky label, right? So if you had something round, a Christmas bauble that you wanted to put glitter onto, you could, you can use glue. And if I put that onto my clay, like so, do you want to use the finger full of gold glitter? Oh yeah, glitter? I just had well, to get just, my hand just, in there. Just dip that. You're making oh, a right look mess at, there, Oh Jenny, look at my know. nail, I love it. You want to dip, just no, tap, your, it. tap your finger on there. Where I've got a lot. Is. I do feel like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz right now. Just tap it on. Okay. Tappity, tappity, tappity. Yep. More? Yep. Bit Try more? not to get it on where the stencil isn't. Oh, yeah, good good point. Let me put some more on. Ling, a ling, a ling, a ling, ling, a ling. That's it, it's enough. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, no. whoa. Just embellish it into the clay. You'd have a whole <laughs> You're pot on there, you would, wouldn't just you? Just got to calm down, you glitter freak. <laughs> I'm All just right. Embellish it into the clay and rip that off. Oh, look at my well, lovely hand now. If we'd have done it really, really carefully you have to have the glitter around it but can you see there that you can oh, I love it. hold it up to the camera but then you, a you use your cutter and cut round it you see yeah see so if you had ready shop bought baubles and you wanted to put glitter onto them you see you could put some glue and then make your own stencils did you use glitters for this here debbie yes those are just can we see that is those that are just lovely? strips of this is literally strips of glitter just put on top of each other so it just goes around and around i've got glitter all over me now i love it Feel like an actual fairy or you can cover light bulbs now i know this is a bit like <gasps> Pardon? a pair what you could do that this is this is actually with foils but I hang on got, hang on that's dangerous surely no no it isn't no it isn't i've got one there i'm not going to light it am i obviously no, 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 okay no, no. phew i've got all like polymer, safety conscious then no, no 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 when you go to polymer clay weekend that's not going to smash no when you go to polymer clay weekends a lot of people use light bulbs to put in the oven to bake pendants on you see of course, I was just going to say you can't bake a light bulb. Light, <coughs> light bulbs get absolutely baking hot, so yes, of course you can. and you can. only put this in the oven at a low heat. So when your light bulbs have, have gone at home, don't throw them away. I love and then this. You can make, I mean, that looks a bit strange because I've done it really it quickly last night, but you can put ribbons and bows around them. This one, I was going to do leaves on. As it's a, a golden pear. Yeah, well, yes, that's what I thought it was. Tree, but um, I didn't have a chance to do it. This is just covered in the, the foil flakes, which I think you've got got somewhere as well so the foil plates but you can cover those in glitter and make your own Christmas decorations so um, it's an ideal way of using up your old light bulbs I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I can't, I can't, I can't, I just can't like, control down. yourself can you I si listen I'm super flakes, I can't be any more excited about Christmas <laughs> and this um, I know it's ridiculous I'm not, I'm, I know I'm ridiculous for You're it not ridiculous. but it's I lovely, just, actually. I love it so much I get you know where you get so excited you think you're gonna throw up yeah. on Christmas that's how I feel don't like a, I'm like a child <laughs> I'm like an act okay oh my god <laughs> don't let me cough I hope them and they expanded Oh, Amelia's it's a bit like quite a bit. Look at this, honestly. These are amazing. Is this a new colour? No, I've got this at home and it's absolutely beautiful. I've not fact, seen these. Hold on, I'll pick it up with this. Let oh, everybody, yes. no. 
Look at the colours. Oh. Aren't they beautiful? Now, I'm only picking up scraps, as you can see. Why do you get so many gilding flakes in here? They literally vacuum pack them in here, because when you open it, it goes they poof. They do. They're oh, all careful. over me. I'm going to look like I've been in Santa's grotto by the time I... Now... You used those for the light bulb, didn't I you? I did. Wait, did you use just the gold? No, I used gold, and there's one called red and gold. I didn't realise they were beyond today. But there is one called red and gold. But can you imagine one done in that? that those are turquoise. Can you see the turquoise? Bronze, mm -hmm. gold and copper. Aren't they beautiful colours? To do makumagane with these would be fabulous, because you get all the colours coming through the layers. I still haven't done makumagane you with you. Do I still that. don't know what it is. It's layering of clay. And you make holes in it, and you slice, and you get all the different designs coming through. I've got to, I've got to tune into this kumagami because it everyone's going on about it. Mm, it's lovely. I'm going to go and. So, yes, foils are fabulous. Look, see fabulous how they foils. are. See how they are up yes. on our screen. Well, that's exactly what happened. You see, that's probably why. It's like when you open them. Um, when you get those joke tins and yes. the little and the thing goes boing at but you. Can that's I say, what these are like. Don't put them on and rub them on. Because you'll end up just with Yeah, powder. I noticed actually you're pressing really lightly. You need lightly. to press them into... Or pushing them in, Yeah, push them into the clay. Because if you rub them, they'll just go to powder, and you'll end up just with lots of dots. So, no, you just need to push them into the clay. I love them. Absolutely I love, love them, them, too. Oh, that's beautiful. Almost like butterfly wings. I just... I'm absolutely oh, in love with this whole thing. It's wonderful. They're only twelve ninety five for three. Is that... Does, does a little go a long way? Thinking that a little goes a very long way. Oh, off. yes, absolutely. You can use these in paper craft too, right? Yes, you can. You can drop them into your jewellery nail, put them on the jewellery nail, you can drop them into resin. You can do all sorts of things I with it. I love it. I love this whole thing. I love the whole world of polymer clay. You, you are, just like It is bits. like a whole. Well, yeah, no, it is like a whole. There's, there's so many polymer clayers oh, out there. It's I've just like been a, to a polymer clay weekend and come back so inspired and I just haven't got enough time. What did you call it? A poliday? Po poly days. That's what's the, the name is. Like a named. holiday? Yeah. I love it. Lovely. Thoroughly enjoyed it. What happened at this? Tell me everything or is it all secret? No, no, no. no is it no. like the witches, Roll Dolls the Witches? Have you seen that film? No, where no, you all no, get no. together? People come from all over the world. Yeah, um, that's like Roald Dahl's The Witches, yeah, but not. But you're not actual witches, you're just part no, of the clay no, no. geeks. People that came over from Arizona and um, Spain and all sorts of things oh my because gosh. the Capone McClay de demonstrators were absolutely superb, top notch, and they just wanted to come. Do you all stay in I the same to, hotel? Quite a few of us did. I felt so poorly though, I went straight to bed. Oh Everybody Debbie, no, out. not at that time, at any time of the year, not that oh, time. Right. I've got there telling me I've got to, will you stop gossiping? Sorry. Oh, right, ta Come on, come on, girls. The men don't like us <laughs> gossiping. It's true. It's true. It's true. I've got another kit for you, by the way. Very, very limited edition kit that's been made up by the budding beaders. Which budding beader? Which one? Which one? Rosanna. Gorgeous Rosanna. Have a look at this. Ex excuse the um, fact that my whole entire hand is now glittered. <laughs> I love this. Absolutely gorgeous. Aquamarine is one of my favourite in the drops, and I, my favourite combination is aquamarine and rose quartz. It's like Rosanna New. And then you have got your appetite brands, which I just love. Now, the great thing about this kit is you don't just get the gems. Now, this is very high end. You've got blue and silver waxed cord perfect for knotting you've got the uh, alizarin blue and the baby blue ribbon that's the word for it you've got your blue beading thread i love it when this happens and you know something everybody everybody and you've got, okay and you've also got your regular beading material as well do you know that so you get all you, you get lots of beading materials and you've got sterling silver. Oh, this is very high end. You've got the heart chain in there as well. We don't have stacks of time. Oh my gosh, what beautiful jewelry. Who did that, Amelia? $29.95. Now this is our, it's like a boutique collection actually, isn't it this? But with findings. You've got that wonderful heart chain. This is a Gems of Distinction strand, is the aquamarine, and it's March's birth gemstone. Rose quartz is absolutely gorgeous. It should be £54. 
normally. Aren't those gorgeous, those earrings? Oh my gosh. Hardly any, absolutely fantastic. Rosanna's made the jewelry up. I love it, I love it. Very beautiful. 29.95. WNGC58 is your item code. Pure beauty is what this is called. And it really is extremely beautiful now your aquamarine graduated drops range between 7 by 4 to 15 by 10 we're down to the last 20 of these 16 centimeters time rose quartz flame rounds at 10 mil and you've got your multicolored appetite at 5 mil your blue topaz organza ribbon your baby blue organza ribbon blue and silver wax cord and all of the extra beading materials on top of the fact that you've got sterling silver findings including that gorgeous heart chain that wonderful toggle clasp and right now it's time to visit Lady DB once again. Don't forget the DVD launch, uh, details of which are on the bottom of your screen, four pounds and 95 pence. I'm taking it our uh, early bird sold out because that was a very popular, it sold out. Uh, so much has sold out today. First bundle with the DVD, gone and sold out. Without further ado, we're gonna go on and talk to Lady DB. I've already uh, honed in on the item I'm definitely stealing. Let's go on over and see that Gorgeous, gorgeous Debbie Bolford. Wow, hang on a minute, you're ill. You've done loads of polymer clay demonstrations. I've been speaking to you loads, which I wasn't supposed to do. And look at, you're very, very good at macrame. Thank you. You're quite good at this jewelry making thing, by the way. Did, did, you, know? did you notice? Thank you. I think that you've got, there's something in this for you. Is there really? I think there wow, is. Wow, thank you very much. Crikey. Oh, that he look at this, look, look, look. Amazing. Totes amaze. Do you know what you've done? You've used my favorite findings. What's that? Were you oh, aware yes. of the fact that I'm a massive Space bars. I've got the five, fan. the five link ones at home, which you can make the really wide cuffs and they are fabulous. Five link? I've got some on the website. Five I strands of pearls five. I want to do. If you know just, this little, mm. That's got three strands, but I haven't used the three holes. No, because you want the gap. middle one. Yeah. Which I think looks nicer. Do it all the time, love it. Because mm. it keeps that uniform look. I love this. I think this is ace. That's my new word of the, at the ace. moment, ace. Very it's good. underused, ace is a great it word. Is. Wonderful. Uh, details for the extruder and DVD. I love that. Has it got to go on the web? This is just lovely. I've got to try that on. No, you see, my favourite is the silver just with one single gold in, because I have seen that in a, in the jewellers. Hang on a minute. Just with one single I gold. Know which I know which designer you're talking about. That yeah. does look exactly like it. I know. That's done on beading thread, and the other one's done on memory wire, so they sit differently. But that is really nice, just with one single gold. I love that. I know that. what you're talking about. This is lush, look. I'm not very good at wire, but that, I've, I've quite you enjoyed are. doing that. No, I'm not. She it's not is. my thing, she but I quite enjoyed doing that. I'm sorry, Debbie, but that is absolutely amazing. What are you talking about? Well, I haven't got these pliers at home. You're a nutcase. Do you need, tools. oh yeah, you do need those. They're great. The three loop pliers, you need yeah, them. Yeah, these. They're very good. I need some of these. You do. It's, it's true. I've got them on the website, but they're brilliant. These, I've got to get, making you've got to, so, I've got to photograph this. So, so, okay, Claire, mm -hmm. this one and this one. Put in a package, put Jenny's mm. on, unless Debbie says otherwise. Love this green as well, love it. Isn't it lovely? It's like a blue and green tone to them. I've just put them all together on one. That's on memory wire, as I say, and the other one's just on beading thread, but I love them. I've got loads left. Absolutely. I've just decided there is no way I'm leaving this building left. without that box. I need it. This jewelry is absolutely gorgeous. gorgeous. It I've is got gorgeous. So much left here. It's time to go already. Aww. Can you believe it? Thank you so much. I know you're poly and I just wish you so much better Pleasure. health. Oh no, I've just got you. glitter all over you. That's fine. It's literally I'm all over you. Anyway, so don't sorry. Worry. Now, thank <laughs> you so much. Don't forget the late show tonight. We have got that competition with a gorgeous oh, yes. Ruth Lynette. She's all foxy and beautiful. Uh, so tune in to Ruth at five. We'll see you later. Have a wonderful weekend, my darling jewelry makers. Lots of love. Bye. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewellery making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewellery making techniques.
The Jury Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jury designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jury Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jurymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. We all know you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new Jewellery Maker hobby. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewellery Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewellery Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the on air now button on the front page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, you simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. &P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker.